Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome to a special daytime live stream. Uh, happy Tuesday, everybody. Or no, Wednesday. Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> happy Shrouded Release Day as well. Uh, I've been waiting for this game to come out for a while. It's finally out today. It actually just went live now on the Steam store. Uh, I was supposed to get a copy of the game early so that I could have it all prepped and ready to go, but... Let's just say that didn't happen. <laughs> so, I actually need to... Uh, you need to quickly install the game, which is why you're looking at my ugly mug instead of the uh, like the game menu or something. Um, but welcome to who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, a huge thanks to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. Thank you all very much for the support. It's greatly appreciated. And a special thanks to our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. Oh god, my eyes! Sorry, I didn't mean to scar all of you this early in the morning. Like I said, I normally go live at uh, only at nighttime, but uh, every once in a while, uh, every once in a while, I get a chance to stream during the day. So I'm actually off uh, today through Friday in order to check out a new game. We're playing Enshrouded today. As I said, I was supposed to get a copy of the game, but it hasn't shown up yet. So I'm just gonna buy it, I guess, so we can go live. Uh, welcome, welcome. I've been I've I've been watching this game for a while. I actually um. Uh, I, I had a chance to play an early version of it quite some time ago. It was like a like an alpha version or whatever. Uh, thought it was awesome, so I've been keeping tabs on it. A lot, I think between this and, and uh, Nightingale, they're probably the two games that I'm most looking forward to this year. Um, Pacific Drive, I think, is a close third. So hopefully we'll have a good time with it. So I got three days to, three days to play it at any rate, and then we can uh, have some good times. Looks like you're already owning one of the games you're trying to buy. Uh oh There we go. Installed. We're good. Doesn't know I have a trunk full of house paint and he'll be painting for the next five days. Ha! <laughs> oh god, I better not. I did notice some buckets in the entryway. I wondered what that was about. My wife's sabotaging me. I haven't even gotten to get into the game yet. She's already planning its demise. <laughs> Kind of, I'm a little annoyed that I didn't get the uh, the copy early the way they said it was going to. Would have been nice to be like live, like right now. Uh, incidentally, we are streaming during the daytime today, which uh, if you've been here at a daytime stream, you know it's going to mean the house isn't exactly quiet. Uh, I have two dogs. They can be very vocal. <laughs> so anytime somebody comes to the door, I'm sure you'll hear them in the background. Stop playing such cool games. I spent all day yesterday just playing Power World. Ah, uh, yeah, Power World. I think uh, I wonder if Enshrouded is going to have a bit of an uphill climb just because of how how big Power World has been, and it also released this week. So like like competing between the two of them for attention. I think I'm I'm curious to see if that has an impact on on Enshrouded. But I know Enshrouded is one of the more um, most wish listed games right now on Steam. Should be fun times. Watch you paint the wall live showing support. Nobody wants to see that. <laughs> Maybe watching the paint dry, but I don't know about putting the paint on. Five million copies, probably. Yeah, there are like five or six million copies sold. It's insane. Um, I think it hits a, a bunch of different demographics that are interested in games like that. So there's the survival component of it. There's those people that like Pokemon. It's got the uh, really um, easily approachable graphics look to it. Slightly cartoony. It's fun and easy to play. There's lots of exploration stuff. Am I finally recovered from my cough? No. No. I'm still hacking up a lung. I take an inhaler every day because I have uh, I have asthma inhalers. But um, they don't really do much but take the edge off. And usually for like 30 minutes after I take it, I cough even more. Imagine all the support you'd have if you stream painting the house. Spotting... Oh my god. Well, I, I think what would happen is uh, I would probably like wipe out or something and then the paint would be everywhere and that would probably be the most popular part of the stream <laughs> we have a we have a stairway in our townhouse that's um um it's got like the the well that goes all the way up to the the roof or whatever so on the second floor so for that particular area you have to like scaffold across it to be able to reach the roof and paint it all kayla gage the blue thanks for clicking the join button welcome to derpy fox rye guy t30 thanks for the super chat appreciate it I'd point out, yeah, I'm sure you would point out spots I missed. I wouldn't be watching chat, though, so I wouldn't see it. See that? That's how that would go. 
playing hooky from work. I actually booked time off, so I have uh, I have paid time off that I can book for work. So I booked three days off, which I'm sure my wife is thrilled about that I booked three do- three days off to play video games. <laughs> She's like, why couldn't you book the time off to do something else I want? <laughs> I like paint the house. Yeah, our stairway hallway is a little bit of a challenge. Try bungee cord. Well, the guy that painted it for us um, when we had the the house painted a couple years ago. Um, he just set up a ladder on the stairs and then put some boards across it onto the existing staircase and was like walking on that to paint it. It looked really unstable. I was I was a little concerned. <laughs> Fortunately, he didn't fall and die because you know that would have sucked, both for him and also for you know liability, etc. Good old insurance. Over the moon, spectacular. I know, honey. See, and she's like, my husband is such a geek. He plays video games. <laughs> he takes time off for video games. Where's the cats? Uh, well, Maple's over here. Hold on, let me get a hold of Maple. Hey, Maple. Here's Maple. This is our baby cat. Well, she's not exactly a baby anymore. What is she, like, two years old now, honey? Something like that? Anyway, she's not as tiny as she used to be, but this is Maple. She's a very pretty cat. She's, uh, she, like, you know, bonded to me or something as soon as we brought her home. She doesn't know that I said no more cats before we got her. Shh, don't, you didn't, don't listen to that. But this is uh, this is her here, if you haven't seen her. That's Maple. Uh, Timber makes an appearance on stream every now and then. He's on top of our bookcase right now. Oop. She heard the dogs coming. <laughs> She's like, let me go! I gotta run! Okay, game's installed. Let's fire this puppy up. See what we got here. All right, I'm going to switch over to the game view so that uh, you can actually see that. Compiling shaders. Compiling shaders. <laughs> Good to see you live. Yay, cats. Thanks, Glitchy Kraken. Appreciate the uh, three months of support. Thank you, thank you very much. Man, my... Uh... My stream display is like way behind what the actual game is doing. I need to change that over. There's no audio. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's one of those games where it's uh, muted background. We'll turn that off so I can actually have it playing in the background. I hate games that go mute when you tab off of them. Sorry, normally I would do this all ahead of time, but I, because I only just got access to the game right now, uh, I didn't want to uh, turn that off. I didn't get a chance to get any of this stuff set up ahead of time. I think everything else here can just be fine. We'll tweak it as we, as we need to as we go along. Welcome to Enshrouded, everyone! Yeah, I think one of the most wishlisted games so far this year... That's what it gives me like, uh, gives me Valheim vibes. Uh, oh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I'm in for that like little beard thing he's got going on. Let's see, hair choices. Gotta do the standard character creation junk. Oh, they got lots of like buns here. Well, that might be all right. It's Ultrek. No goats, only foxes, that's right. <laughs> you should hook up with Thread Menace. What's Thread Menace? I assume that is that another streamer? Maybe we'll go with I'll go with like the shaved sides of the head and the little pony thing. Why not? That'll work. Uh body type. Oh god, I changed oh, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, hold on. I fix, I fix. Where's the... What's that hairdo I just had? Literally, where'd the hair go I just had? It's not an option now. <laughs> that one's funny. There it is. Yeah. Alright, we'll go with brown hair, because that matches my, my ugly brown hair. That'll work. Oh yeah, that's the that's the look right there. <laughs> My wife would divorce me if I had that particular like mustache chops look. 
Oh, he looks too young that way. All right, we're going with that because I don't know reasons. Um, uh, beard color. Oh, I like, I like how you make the beard a different color. Ha! 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 Sure would, yep. <laughs> go, go full on Hulk Hogan. <laughs> uh, name. Imagine that. What could we possibly name ourselves? There we go. Hooray! Oh man, I can't believe this game's finally here. So they didn't even release the pricing information until today. Uh, it's on sale like 10% off on Steam right now. But the game was... Um, in Canadian dollars... You know, which I know is funny money. It's currently $35.99. $40 Canadian is the regular price. It's on 10% off right now. Um, American dollars, what's that? Probably somewhere between 25 and 30. So not too bad. Best part about these smaller games is they... Uh, uh, I'm going to go private. Start a private save locally game. We'll try to avoid having any server problems. Because if I am saved it locally, then maybe we won't have one. Um, create a new game. My world... Death Incarnate. We demand your hunky husband's face Long cam. What's this now? <laughs> a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was a cure. A blessing. A weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it, Came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Ember Vale. The Shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the Flameborn. Now, your time has come. Awake. Sounds like some Dark Souls with the uh, the whole Dark World kind of thing, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Plays more similar to Valheim. Uh, only the terrain in this game is is uh, fully mod modifiable. So you can like dig into the dirt and build your base underground if you wanted to, or reshape the ground. Rested, inactive, sheltered, warmth, comfortable. Well, I've got sheltered if I'm not warm and comfortable. I figure out how to punch. I can punch! A little circle there is my stamina. Interesting placement for a stamina thing. Normally it's a, like a separate little, uh, separate little icon somewhere else in the screen, like a little bar, but... Welcome to the Cinder Vault. New location charted. Marker added. Commune with flame. Oh, great, I'm a pyromaniac. You slumbered for too long, Flameborn. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now the Enduring Flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay, we're gonna make a flame altar. So the flame altar is the core of your base. You put that down first before you do any building, and it sort of defines your territory. Welcome to Embervale. It's a little, uh, little foggy, but not misty at least. Quest updated, claim a spot for your base. Okay, so we've gotta get out of this starting area, and then we'll find a place we can set up. A vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and perils. Press I and navigate to the map to track your discoveries. Or you can hit M and go straight to map. Uh, planes for first base. I guess that's where they want us to go. I'm trying to zoom out so we can get a sense of how big the map is. It looks pretty big. 
but we can only zoom out so far, so it's hard to tell. Looks like at my level I can currently have two flame altars, so we could have two bases right now. But you can build, like, anywhere in this game, pretty much. New lore page. On the flame and its murmurs, pale light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protecting it in a flaming core. Wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite possessing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversations, says Balthazar. Oh, ha! <laughs> I think he waited too long. Possibly. I kind of want to jump, but I'm pretty sure there's fall damage. <laughs> I think that would be my, my first demise. Let's not kill ourselves instantly, as much as that might be entertaining. It's lagging. That's not good. Oh, you didn't play the demo? I did play around with the demo. I actually had an, an early build of the game before the demo came out. How bad is it lagging right now? It's, it seems to be playing fine for me. Good for you? Okay. Uh, increased stamina max. So what's this? Oh, there's a torch there. We've got a torch! Oh, weird. I've got a notice from... YouTube saying that they're not getting the f uh, enough data, not receiving enough video to maintain a smooth streaming experience. But it looks fine on my end. That's weird. Minor moment of choppiness. Was it during the cutscene or was it like when I started to play? I might have to tweak the settings a little bit if it's not cooperating. Have they changed anything on the game? Well, I don't know. We only just got into it, so that's a little hard to know. We're not even out of the starting little zone they start us off in. When I was scrolling the map, it was... Oh, what? Well, yeah. That's weird. Hold on, let me just take a quick look at the settings then. Um, normally I limit the... Well, actually, the, the V-Sync should limit it to 60 frames per second, because that's what I stream at. We'll, we'll turn down the shadow quality a little bit. That might help. If it's being a problem. We're in, baby. I love how the, to open the chest, he just kicks it. <laughs> we got another torch now, too. Okay, something else to pick up over here. So this fog that's in the low-lying areas is the shroud. And we can we can survive in it for a little while when we go in, but we're on a timer. Anytime we go into the shroud, we've got to get out of it in time before it kills us. This is nothing behind that one. So there's the shroud timer up at the top. Uh, tap to lock on to foes, control to dodge out of harm's way. Well, the, uh, the, the, the dodging I already figured out. Now, the problem is I don't have a proper weapon. All I've got is this torch. Uh, I can't directionally roll. That's weird. Oh, I crouched. Okay, if you're, tar if you're targeting somebody, you roll to the side. You, like, roll around them. That's kind of handy. Backstabbing. Torn cloth. We got four minutes. I'm sure they wouldn't set a situation where we would die really easily in the starting area. Old school in the super chat. 13 months? That's unlucky. Love this game. Couldn't quite figure out the building mechanics. Thanks for the 13 months of support, old school. Yeah, the uh, the building is a little bit funky in terms of like um, how to pick the pieces that you want to build with. So each of the pieces you choose to build with are like a prefab prefabricated part. Like whether it's like a, a square section that you're going to use for a wall, uh, floor, or something like that. And then you can modify it after you've placed it, or you can go down to like the individual little cube level and, and build like, different shapes that you want out of the little cubes, but you have to kind of, like, assemble it like Lego, almost. <clears throat> Wait for the time to go to zero for science. Well, it'll kill us, man. 
Well, equip with a shield or a melee weapon, press right mouse button to block. Ooh, is this a sword? It is a sword, but I can't take it. Doing something right, reach level two. How about that? An achievement already. That's how skilled I am. We already got an achievement. <laughs> okay, found a water skin there. I wonder if I was supposed to find a weapon sooner. What do we got here? Captain's Journal, day one. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One before he entered with a handful of our best warriors. It was the first time I'd seen one of his kind, and I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of the remaining soldiers are pledged to this sacred duty. Captain Cartwright. How do you know if it'll kill you? They could have changed it up. Yeah, right. Sure they did. They changed the, one of the core game mechanics. Absolutely. <laughs> Sounds like something that people would do. At least they gave me pants, so I'm not running around like completely nude. Something else that I can loot. Is it that pile of sticks? Yeah. I got some sticks! Weapons on the wall, but I can't take them. That guy died in bed, apparently. They must have had a straw bed or something, the straw all rotted away. Because there's no mattress there. Don't leave my side! Just mean, is it true? The ancients call upon you to stay behind as the, uh, as the rest of us slumber? You'll be there when I awake? Please, you cannot leave my side. You're my all. Why must we change? I miss the old devs. <laughs> the old days, devs. Huh. I miss the old days when we used to travel, together side by side. You let me linger next to you, you held my hand. And now, all this secrecy for what? I thought you could find in me. I don't want the ancients to drive us apart. I'll lose all faith. If you must go, at least give me a farewell kiss. All my heart. Doesn't look like it ended well for them. I probably should have put that torch away before I let it burn out. Fortunately, we have another one. No, it can loot the barrels. Oh, recipe unlocked for a shield. Yeah, baby. What the, wait, what the, oh, they targeted a goat. Come back, goat. Looks like we can smash all this stuff. I thought I'm going to get much for it. Okay, let's go to the crafting and take a look here. Um, okay, you can quickly navigate the different icons, blah, 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 yada, yada. We'll figure it out. Pin the recipe to get collecting. Okay, so shield, club, bow are all I can make right now. We can use rags to make uh, stuff, but I gotta get string. Twigs, wood logs, and the shield requires wood logs. I guess it must have been a piece of string I picked up that unlocked all this stuff. Thought it was the wood. Turns out not. Oh god! Jeez, what the Ah freaking rat from hell! Suck it, rat! I'm gonna be snacking on rat bits later. Be like demolition man all over again. Recipe unlocked. Lockpick. Okay, we got metal scraps out of that. So I should be smashing all this stuff and winning his bits that'll unlock uh, recipes for me. Okay, maybe not with the torch though. Punch that barrel. Yeah, mm, rat burgers. I mean, it's a survival game, so, like, step one, punch a bunch of things to get materials. <laughs> step one accomplished. Oh, I looped all the way back around. Okay. Dental floss. It's showing us where to go, but I'm not done looking yet. 
looting is very important to me. I found a fire. Why is there a fire here? Who left this meat here? Good night's rest. Finally a break for the tedious work. My bones are sore. But the, but the warmth of a fire, a little shelter, and some sleep should allow me to become well rested. Food's getting scarce. Here they're planning an expedition. Thankfully I hid some rations below my bed. I'll make a nice meal when cooked over the fire. No, I don't want to sleep. I wanted to... Get up. Get up. How about you? Don't. Oh my god, just get up. There we go. Maybe the rations under the bed he was referring to were actually just the meat that was there. Grilled red mushrooms. Ooh, chest. Got some wood arrows and a health potion. Can I craft yet? We can make a club. Yeah, baby. I'll make a shield too while we're at it. So now I gotta find. Where's my. Okay. Long range. So equip the shield. It's super powerful, this shield, as you can tell. <laughs> Step on the fire, we need to know. Oh, uh, why would you. Why you do this thing to me? Those are my arms. How, so I guess I'm assuming then I would put the. Oh, there we go. Backpack. Put the club going, mate. There we go. Slip that up there. So, oh, interesting. They've got so there's two hot bars. We can hit Alt to switch which bar we're on. Is that the same here? Yeah. All right. Alt swaps that out. Here's my blocking. We are all powerful now. We have a club. It's not a good club, but it's a club. And a health potion. Must have all the loots. Five o'clock somewhere. Is somebody planning booze already? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. Back up there. That's right. Take that, buddy. Back in the shroud. Falling to ruin, we held out hope, digging through the rubble, our lips whispering prayers to the ancients. Always a watchful eye towards the horizon. Even in the farthest corner of the world, the shroud threatens to engulf us and seal away any ray of hope. As the air grew thick with the cursed fog, we held on. As fires raged on the horizon, ash falling like snow on howling pike, we pushed harder. May this home long kept usher us into a bright age. I'm gonna guess it probably won't. Oh, nice. Press the unlock for the axe. I got stones. No, oh, well that's anticlimactic. That's right, baby. We got stoned. <laughs> Rabbit with some crazy big ears. Hey, little guy. I'm here to help you. There we go. We helped him good. <gasps> oh, no. I can't even loot it. I murdered him for nothing. I think he fell through the world. <laughs> oh, what's in here? Bandage. Rectum. 
wreck that guy. All right. Just another day. <laughs> yeah. Can I climb on this? Okay. There's no mantling. It looks like just regular jumping. Over here. Water is a great source of vitality. Drink it to enhance your stamina and regenerate faster. Look at that, I scooped some water, baby. Maximum 110%. A little practice area. Oh, I broke my club already. Boy, they didn't last very long. I got some string, though. Plant fiber roof block and lock the roof bench. Don't forget the pal fluids. Yeah. I think some of the stuff is a little hard. It's on the ground, and my guy has. They do a combo move. Like, as soon as you punch, he automatically steps forward. <laughs> like, hitting those things is a challenge. Oh. Apparently, the dogs heard something. Sorry. Hold on, I'm gonna mute for a second. I don't know if all that effort to punch that thing on the ground was worth it. <laughs> okay, we got our first way out to the, the little lanterns out here. I guess we got, wants us to go over here. Location reach. New quest to claim, uh, claim a spot for your base. Well, all right, we'll just we'll claim this spot, I guess, because you know reasons. Flame altar will mark the spot for your base. In your base, you'll be able to craft and build shelter. Craft a flame altar and place it to establish your base. You don't have to place your altar in the plains. You can choose uh, any above the shroud area to establish your base. Trouble is, I don't know the map yet. So, I guess we'll we'll set up here temporarily, maybe. And I, I won't build anything too crazy here. Can I repair this thing? No, I can delete it. <laughs> All right, no repairing. Uh, craft. Flame altar. All right. Place your place to call home. Okay, so this little square that it marks out is with the, uh, the general area we'll be able to build in. We'll stick that there. Just in time for nighttime to fall. Man, nighttime came quick. Sky looks cool. Mean with the flames. You're not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in the nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they may aid in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside of the Shroud's grasp. New location charted. Okay, so that'll get us a friend. So, we can strengthen the flames, I think, to uh, get a, you know, so gain global benefit. We can go from flame level 1 to 2. That takes all these materials to up to upgrade it. Upgrade the altar with shroud cores, which we don't have any of. I assume we'll get those from, like, killing bosses or something. Reset skill points. Not worried about that. Don't want to extinguish the flames, either. Travel through the shroud. World's lost, but not barren. Survivors of the shroud await... Uh, wait to be aroused by your inner fire. Find the sleeping survivor marked on your map. You'll have to venture through the shroud. Okay, well, well, let's set up a little crafting bench or something here, so we at least have... Oops, that is not what I want to do. There we go. Crafting is V. Workbench. Throw that out, build a construction hammer while we're at it, too. Can't go wrong with a workbench. Oops. How do I rotate this thing? R plus to rotate, okay. Set that there for now. Oh, good. I can repair in here. Um, backpack. 
Oh, it is still repaired. Okay, so as soon as you access the work table, it just automatically fixes your stuff. That's good. No complaints there. We're gonna need a chest to do stuff with. Um, so this here is the construction hammer. With this, we can uh, we can build things in our construction mode. So this is the part that um, old school you said you were you were challenged with. So you've got like your your standard size pieces here you can build with, uh, but there are more things you can make with. How did I... I kind of... Alt is not working. Oh, wait. Space. There we go. Select material you want to build with. Yada, yada, yada. Open the submenu to select from the different shapes, etc., etc. All right. So, control and up will give me different materials. I don't, have, like, I don't really have anything because I haven't really gathered anything. Alt gives you more shapes. So, and then here you can go through your, your two meter size pieces, your four meters. You've got your roofs. You've got terrain pieces if you want to build some terrain. Uh, let's throw down like a uh, something. Uh, we need something for a foundational piece. <laughs> Might help if I actually had materials, though. <laughs> I literally can't craft anything. All right, we'll have to do that in a bit. What else can we get here? Oh, right. I gotta make the, the blocks actually. So you take the raw materials and then you build the the elements that you're gonna build your structure with. So in this case, I'm gonna make rough wood blocks. Each of those is giving me like a hundred blocks. And then we go into the build mode. And use those to put the piece down. Because I really don't have all that many. It's not letting me match the pieces up, that's not cool. What's going on around here? Turn off. Oh, you can turn off snapping too, which is nice. Hmm. Missing materials. What? What am I missing? I have the rough wooden block. I'm not missing materials. You're missing materials. Where's the kilometer piece? Oh, you know what? Actually, that probably just took. Uh, I have 144, and I thought I had crafted more. Uh, craft repair. I just didn't make enough of these things. You gotta make a lot of them. There we go. So it takes 256 pieces to make that. Pretty substantial amount considering it's uh, just a little square. But whatever. Like I said, we're not gonna go too crazy building here. We'll just do something that will give us a little structure for... Whoops! Ah, oh, I broke a piece. <laughs> Don't right click. It doesn't ask if you're sure. Throwing our wall pieces. Maybe I should have put a window in here. But wait, we can build our own windows. And I'm out of pieces, dang it. I build a lot of these things. All right, so if we want to build a window in the piece that we built then, so you got this little square piece and you just right click, beep, takes a chunk out. So you can build your own windows or doors, you know, whatever you choose. We got that. Uh, we'll go back to building, whoops. Oh, I didn't mean to put that down there. Give me that back. Tab, put another wall down. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully my flame's not going to be in the way. It's kind of like right in the doorway, but whatever. <clears throat> the wall texture. Well, this is just... Uh, I'm, I'm using the most basic resources. Um, the interesting thing with the building in this is like when you connect up pieces, it will automatically do like little decorative elements on the corners. So like you can see like the crisscrossing of the pieces up top there. Um, later on when we have stone and stuff, it, it does that with like windows, uh, window edges and stuff. I think this might even have a windowsill. I can't remember if it does it on the wood pieces. Yeah. See how it like frames out the window automatically for you so that it actually looks like a finished, um, a finished build piece. Uh, how do I build a door though? That's probably something we're going to want. 
More shapes. I don't think there's actual doors in here. Maybe I have to construct the door and then install it. Let's get our roof pieces on anyway. So we got uh, four meter roof pieces. I guess that'll work. I said, what if I had some more building materials? <laughs> Dang it. Maybe I should have built a bed. So we need uh, plant fiber and string for that. Here's the glider we can make. Shroudwood, animal fur, and string, and shroud spores. Grappling hook. We can do a fireplace. That's fancy. Fireplace that'll provide warmth once placed in your home. It's simple, but it's, you know, right. Okay, I need uh, I need an axe. So I think I had a, an axe that I could craft. Um, axe. There it is. I need twigs for that. Find me some twigs. Listen to hear you. Nobody got time for this. Oh, good swing. Oh, that was in the clear. Turns out not so much. Oh, it killed that poor sheep. But we benefited. Last question. Can you sleep or make a day? Uh, you can definitely sleep. I don't know if it passes time or not. I don't remember. It's been a hot minute since I played. Uh, but I don't have a bed right now, so I can't I can't do that right now either. I got purple berries. Yeah, let's, let's make that axe I wanted to make. Uh, I want to change my order of things in here too. I've got too many torches. Stick that over there. Not all this stuff needs to be on me actively. This is like it didn't automatically stack the twigs there. I don't really need any of these things in a hot bar. We'll put this in here though. I want that. Direct use. Get plus two intelligence for the mushroom. The berries get plus two health regeneration. Raw meat. Does bad things. Imagine that. What do you mean we can't eat raw chicken? Literally unplayable. Storage next. Yeah, we'll have to get some storage. I'm gonna put a roof on and a bed and storage. And I, like I said, I don't want to go too crazy with this first build. Um, you can build some pretty intricate stuff, which is pretty awesome. But this is not likely gonna be my uh, my preferred location. You'll notice as you, as you hold down the button to, to chop, too, you'll like uh, start chopping faster and faster. First couple swings are a little slower. Am I going crazy with building? Well, it's not where I want to be yet. So if I build crazy here, then i got to keep coming back to here. And I probably don't want to do that. This is just like our, our preliminary place. Uh, I put all the torches away? I didn't exactly mean to do that. There we go. You can throw them too, which is nice. So we can like, lob this thing on the ground. Or not. <laughs> Let me throw the torch. Oh, I got fireflies. There we go. Dumb, I had two buildings in stone and save the first survivor. Nice. Yeah, the, so. I can't remember, was the demo limited by time, of, like, playtime? Was it like eight hours of play you could get out of it? I forget. Yeah, we got a few fireflies. Uh, firefly illumination! Delicious illumination, gentlemen! So we've got a few different choices in here for at the top, you'll notice. Like, it goes into like a category and then you can pick like different things in it. Standing torch. We do a wall torch. Craft a wall torch, baby. Put that inside so I can actually see in here. There we go. Okay. Uh, crafts. 
And fiber roof block, no thanks. We'll make more of these roofs. Oh wait, actually, I might need those for the roof. Can I make the roofs? I don't know if, I don't know if the roofs have to be made specifically, specifically as a roof block. I guess they probably do. I said it's been a while. I haven't played in a bit. Yep, there we go. Change the types there, but I don't want that. We're gonna do this little spin. Oh, now it's Q to rotate. No, R. There we go. This is not gonna be the fanciest house you've ever seen. As long as it gets the job done, I guess. I can't get it up there. Hashtag jokes. Oh, I actually don't have enough. I don't have enough materials anyway. I gotta go gather some more plants. I'm starting to think I have ADHD. What are you talking about, ADHD? I ain't got no ADHDs. I just have problem with the attention. It's almost like there's a deficit or something. <laughs> Ooh, there's a little dungeon thing here. Oops, you're not a tree. <laughs> All my houses look fancy. Well, this one's gonna be really simple. How are you gonna uh, split your time with this in Power World? Well, it's gonna be an adventure. Oh man, that shield did not do a whole lot of protecting for me. Oh wait, I'm almost dead. That was that was brutal. How dare you! Let me slain. Heal me! Oh my god! I almost died! I blocked with the shield, but that really didn't absorb a whole lot of damage. <laughs> Why does the roof look weird? Well, because it's not, it's not built yet. I didn't, I didn't get it done. I have to go get more grass. Need more fiber. And the and the one piece is definitely on wrong. <laughs> almost is not entertainment. <laughs> it's not true. It's almost entertaining. Huh, what a beehive! Wax and honey, baby. I don't think the bees liked it though. Oh, God, no! Get off me! <laughs> Jeez, those hurt! Okay, note to self. Don't mess with the bees, man. They mean business. B is for business. I think I get as much plant fiber as I would like. You split your time like how you do with the other 50 plus games you have. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so this week I'm going to be playing a lot of this. I've been planning to stream it like twice a day, today through Friday. And then, you know, based on how viewership and stuff is going, I'll decide what we're going to do on the weekend. Uh, I'm sure we'll probably plan to playing some Power World on the weekend, though. But obviously, if this is doing, like, really well in terms of viewership, then, uh, I don't want to keep playing it. Oh, God, things just keep coming! I, hold on, what's going on? Like, why can't I move? I hit the wrong buttons! Do I have to kill these things somehow? How do I do that? They're bugs! I don't have a big bug swatter. Why did I, why did I harvest those, those stupid things? These smack bugs. Oh, you know what I should do is we'll bust out the torch. Yeah, there we go. That got rid of them. Probably should have paid more attention to that. Just saying. Not saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, this roof piece is definitely on wrong. Oh, look, it's flying. Uh, okay, we should probably, probably solve for that. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? 
What is this? It's snapping in a weird spot. There we go. Um, this one is is not connecting right. I'm gonna have to get up on the roof to get this to work. Oh, <laughs> I thought that would be. I thought that'd be enough. There we go. I don't know, is that... Is that right? Looks like it's sitting right. Mostly. We're joined in the middle, but... Uh, oh, that's because the front... The back piece didn't go on right. Use snapping tool. There! Perfect. Okay. Better. Fortunately, removing the stuff you built is super easy. Okay, we need uh, more shapes. Go in here. Leave that tiny little gap at the top. We'll call that ventilation, as though it was planned. The finicky placement. Well, it's uh, the thing is, you can build like almost anything in this, which is why it's uh, kind of cool. So if you like, where is it here? If I take these blocks, for example, and I just go to the block pieces, I can put them anywhere, individual little cubes. So we can build whatever shape we want to. Or you can also delete them, so if you like, if you decide you want to like have something fancy on the outside, you can build like little structures or whatever. Maybe you wanted to build a tower, you can just like connect it in. Everything kind of merges together and it like finishes up the edges for you so that it looks like it was intended that way. Kind of cool. Me likey. I have no idea how to build a door for this thing though. Uh, manual crafting, workbench. Doors, there we go. <laughs> it's decorative, but we can make a door. I need a, it says I need wooden door times two. There we go. Craft one of those suckers. Where's my door? Uh, I literally just put the door in the wall. <laughs> Look, it's open! That's not right. Undo build action. <laughs> I apparently can't. No! Oh, give me back my door! That shouldn't be happening! <laughs> Alright, well, good times. You're not build here. That's not what I want. I should have a way that I can pick that door back up again. Hmm. So, the undo build action I did, all I did was recover all these pieces. I didn't actually get to... Didn't get to get my door back, because that wasn't a build action. I actually placed that thing. But I can't take out the wall here either, because the door's in the way. <laughs> Why? How do I get my door back out of here? That's redonkulous. Might be a little finicky. Break it? I guess I'm gonna have to break it. door. I tried why, but it doesn't, all that did was re restore the blocks that I had taken. It doesn't consider the placement of the door a building action. Uh, I wasn't expecting it to, like, put the door down instantly when I hit, I had it on my inventory spot, and it, uh, 
It like put it down like the instant I hit the number that it was in. Which was not really what I intended. There we go. Hooray! I did a thing, and the door is not in the wall this time. Although my flame's a little too full. I probably should have planned this better. Maybe I'll put the door on the other side. <laughs> I can't actually pick it up, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I can pick up the workbench. Let's pick that up and move it. Put it inside, because that's where it belongs. There we go. Hooray! We can do things! Okay, where's my uh, furniture? I want some, like... I want a bed. I need string. I should be able to craft string, I think, right? String. There we go. Wow, all one string. Go me. Oh, I can make a pickaxe, too. I gotta get more plant fiber, so let's get the pickaxe in the meantime. Uh, and I should probably make some clothing so I'm not running around some naked, too. Not impressed with how building works in this game so far. Well, we just, I think we just have to get used to it, RLD, because it's, um, it's really flexible in terms of, like, what you can make. So, this, uh, I just built my own random, or not a random structure, but I just built a really plain structure here. It's a little finicky with placement, but, like, the ability to just, like, make anything you want is kind of cool. I particularly like the ability to, like, cut out sections that you want to have for, um... Windows or doors or whatever, you can just pick whichever ones you want. Uh, oh, I need to make a chest. Let's make a chest. I think it was in... Uh... It's not in backpack rafting. It's in here. Roof blocks uh, storage, there we go. Oh, I need string for that too. Alright, never mind. We gotta get fiber. The fibers this thing. Fire set fire to it for science. I don't think you can burn this stuff down. There isn't like an option to. And I, I can't burn myself in the flame as much as I'm trying to. Maybe because I'm flame born. Watching a Power World stream the day after it came out, people were coming in and talking about the end game. Players had sat down and finished the content in under 24 hours. Yeah, that happens a lot. Um, I feel like content creation in particular has driven more of that. Shoot down beehives from trees to retrieve honey. Be careful, the hives are usually protected by their swarm. Oh, thanks for telling me now, game. <laughs> Found that out the hard way myself already. I'll find more fiber. I think it would be like everywhere here, but not so much apparently. Actually, do I get any from cutting the trees down? Or is it only wood? So Cryptic did choose to place his home right next to the flame. Yeah, that was my fault. I didn't have to put it there. That was that was just stupid placement. I thought there would be a little bit more of a gap between the flame and my and my door there. We could relocate it. We'll put the door on the end, maybe. It was go like this, and then like this, and then we'll just rip out a spot here. We'll put a new door in. That was wrong. That was below the level of the floor. <laughs> there we go. See. I didn't make that big enough. How wide? How wide is it? I guess the door is what three three cubes wide. Maybe it's three wide for the door. There we go. All oh, right, I can't make a door because I don't have any string. Oh, metal scraps. Oh crap. Well. Now I got an opening because I don't have the stuff to make a door. <laughs> oh, 
I'll leave this as a window for now, and then when we uh, when we get some more some more scraps, I'll uh, I'll make another door. In the meantime, I gotta find some string. Cryptic priorities build a house before making himself close. Darn right. We don't need no stinking clothes. What are clothes good for anyway? Warmth and protection. Ha! <laughs> I laugh at your warmth and protection. Oh, got a wolf. Ow, you jerk! Why don't we have warmth and protection? I did walk all the way back here. All the way back to Long Keep. Actually, if there's more barrels in here, uh, I did smash a bunch, but I might be able to find some more metal scraps and make another door. <laughs> Wait a minute, can I claim this bed? If I just switch to my hammer. No. Not so much. Interact with the campfire to cook food. Sit near it with X to become rested in the wild. Well, should have done that earlier, I guess. Tarred wood block plus one more at workbench. Okay. Wand holes are real. What's this now? Clothes? Wow, what are they good for? Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you're doing the song. Clothes. What all the good? Absolutely nothing. You know, aside from the like the protection they provide and whatever. <laughs> See, we gotta make sure we're different from every other streamer you're watching. Everybody else is actually preparing properly. There is a staircase down there. Oh, never mind. That's the treasure chest I already got. Everyone else is preparing properly, but me? Nope. We're building stuff I don't need yet. Alright. Uh, manual crafting string. Back to the workbench. So we can make... Um... <sighs> Come on! <laughs> Kill me. Let's make some clothes. So we got rag armor we can make. Yeah, which is just awesome stuff. Where's my character? So this gives me uh, 17 physical resist, 17 magical resist, which is better than the zero I have now. I just made the same pants I already had, so good times for me. <laughs> oh, actually no, threadbare pants or ragged pants. I guess the ragged pants are better. So I did need to make them. And then foot wraps, or ragged boots. Hooray, we've got armor now. Aren't we cool? I really need to make a chest. Uh, store it. I used up all the string again! <laughs> Dang it! Until I offload some, uh, some of the stuff, I probably shouldn't go down in the shroud, because there might be stuff worth collecting down there. What's this? Is this metal? Flintstone. Okay, I found Flintstone. Was it Barney or Fred? <laughs> I got an achievement for digging a hole.
Games are like, congratulations, you put a hole in the ground. What's this flame business going on? I think it's leading me on to the quest I'm supposed to do. You know, if I wasn't busy looting. There we go. Captain's Journal, Day 6. The Raiders have besieged us these past two days, attacking from the bridge. Their eyes. Such madness. We've withheld so far, but only just. We may not survive the next assault. I've ordered to rig the pass with our last munitions. Those scavengers return. We're prepared. Little Captain Arkwright. More arrows. I should probably make a bow so I can use all these arrows I'm getting. <laughs> Figured out how to sleep. So it looks like sleeping does not pass time. I got arrested buff, but... Uh, did not pass time for me. I don't think you can sleep through the night. It's a divot. <laughs> Game's all like... Place for divots. Braylon Bridge. Just getting arrows out of the stuff here. That's crazy. Give me that arrow too. What happens when you attack a skeleton? Oh, they break. <laughs> I got bones. Can't proceed with a grappling hook here. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Well, that's problematic. I'm not ready to go down there yet. I need to make storage so I can put my stuff away. Jump. <laughs> you can't jump that far. You just told me I need a grappling hook. Say good day. You call that a hole? That ain't a hole. This is a hole. Hello, wolfy friend. You stop. Oh, that's better. You're saved. We did a good deed today. We saved that wolf. I definitely have the door on the wrong side. Not only because the flame's in the way, and that was my dumb placement, but... Also because it's on the wrong side. Can I, I can't craft this string from in here. I actually gotta go into my manual crafting first and make it. Uh, storage. Craft. Beds. So I need both string and plant fiber for the bed. Okay, there's our storage box. One of them, anyway. I assume if we put more of them together, it will uh, just automatically connect together, I would think. All right, so, sort storage. Shift right, deposit stacks. Right to deposit all. Oh, God, I didn't want to do that. How do I withdraw all? <laughs> Take all of that. There we go. Shift R is not working. There we go. Weird. Quick move is shift and left trigger. Hmm. So it's deposit the stacks automatically. You don't have to like Oh, that's a shield. Yeah, one block, seven parry power, sixty max durability. Put all this stuff away in here. I don't remember if this game has crafting from the, the like straight out of storage boxes or if you have to pick the stuff up. Um fireflies, we'll leave those. So I have the cloth in the storage box, and it's not showing as accessible here, so apparently I can't. 
More string. Yeah, I gotta get more string again. I need string and fiber to make a bed. I have to say, the fiber's kind of a nuisance to get. I thought it would be, like, everywhere. Give me the fiber. Does food decay? Uh, I don't know. Honey's clearly not food. Good question. I don't know yet. This is like a quarry almost. Oh, I ate a mushroom. Uh, hopefully it wasn't a bad mushroom. Oh, look, we've got, uh... What the heck? There we go. We've got food buffs in this game, similar to Valheim, where you get, like, the triple food setup. Um, what else were we playing that had that, too? Character. Okay, so, mushrooms give me plus one intelligence, and then I don't have any other food types in me right now, but... Oh, skills? What do we got in skills? Ooh, skill tree! Okay, merciless attack. Perform a merciless attack by pressing E to deal massive damage to an enemy uh, you've overpowered. To overpower an enemy, fill their stun bar by blocking... Or, sorry, by uh, attacking while they block or by parrying their attacks. Pickaxe deals 30% more damage against stone objects. Uh, sneak attack does massive 10x damage to unaware enemies. I need three points for that, though. Felling axes do 30% more damage against wooden objects, including trees, so you can chop things down faster. So you've got, like, your different branches here going on. You've got Survivor, Beastmaster, Ranger, Assassin, Trickster, Wizard, Healer, Battle Mage, Tank, Warrior, and Barbarian. So you're not really, like, locked into a class so much as you, you pick trees to unlock the branch as it goes down to get deeper into a given, like, thing you want to focus on. I kind of want to do the assassin branch. I need more points for that sneak attack. I wonder if it includes shots from a bow when they don't know that I'm there. If so, that would be cool. Where's my backpack? Out of here. What have we got? What is that? Flint arrows, scrap arrows. I'm gonna keep hitting that wrong button and flipping all the time. Oh, Treacherous Chasm, you'll need a grappling hook to cross. Okay. I think the first guy we rescue ends up being our blacksmith who like helps us make stuff, I think. Oh yeah, shield in my backpack. I keep forgetting about that. Uh, so I gotta go to character shield. So I'll get two block out of the shield I have. This other one is one block, seven parry. So the one I have is actually better. Oddly enough. Let me make a bed now. I want to make a fireplace, too. Not able to craft string? I am, but I need to get uh, plant fiber to make the string. So that's what I was kind of running around and grabbing. So, um, string costs uh, three plant fiber. I think, oh, actually, I think I needed a third one. And then in here, we should be able to craft a bed now. Oh, the torn cloth is in my chest. I was hoping it would use um, adjacent storage boxes as, uh, as a mechanism, but apparently not. Okay, we can make a bed. We can make tables and chairs and stuff, but those are just decorative things we don't need right now. We can put a window in, in the actual window frame. Let's do some of that. We can make dishes, wooden bowls, cups and stuff. I wonder if those are needed for, for cooking recipes. Uh, five. 
There we go. Look at that, we got a proper window. Put my bed over here for now. Sleep. I don't have warmth in here, so I'm not getting a proper rested buff off of this. I need to get uh, I need to get a little fireplace going in here, which means I might want to move that window actually. All right, uh, fireplaces. I need stone, which I put in here. Some of these flint arrows. I need. To, I got to make more storage too, actually. <laughs> Again with the string. Fireplace. Crafted. How big is this thing? Interesting little fireplace. What I don't know is actually if sn if smoke builds up in this game, so I guess we'll find out. That counts for warmth. And we can cook on it. Place food in your action bar and select it to press left mouse button to cook. Okay. So it's got to be in my action bar to cook stuff. That's interesting. We got a little bit of meat. Let's cook, let's cook up this meat too. Put those blocks away. Might as well delete the uh, old pants. We're not going to need those. I'm fairly certain we're not going back to the old pants. <laughs> if I had to guess. Actually, that shield can probably get deleted too, unless I can do something with it later. Okay, let's try, start, try our hand at cooking. We've got shrooms, we've got uh, honey, although why you would cook honey, I'm not sure. Raw lean meat, raw wolf meat. Hold the cook. Oh, look, he puts it on the stick. Oh god, I burned it! <laughs> I made tar! Not very pretty, but useful when it comes to creating protection from the elements. <laughs> Whoops! I didn't realize it would flash cook that quick. I'm not sure why, but I thought if I just continued holding the button down, it would cook the next piece of meat and just go through the stack, but it doesn't. It does them one at a time. You've got to, like, let go and re-click. <laughs> I guess, um, similar to, similar to other games, you sometimes want tar. That's funny. Wow. Cooking minigames? Kind of. Now, the, the mushroom I understand putting on a stick, but what about the berries? Okay, no, they just, he just flat out eats them. Can't cook those, even though... Can I cook the shrooms? Nope. Magic damage bonus, okay. So some stuff you cook and other things you don't, and it doesn't, like, differentiate, necessarily. When you're in the cooking um, thing. We still don't have warmth. I got a fireplace right there. Am I too far away from it? Why am I not getting warmth? My bed's got to be closer. Let's move this thing. There we go. Alright, so we got a rest of the bonus. 12 minutes. Comfort level 7. So I guess the comfort level that we have in our home will affect the duration of the rested buff. So we've got 12 minutes now based on how nice I have my place, but it'll get better as we get a nicer home. Again, similar to certain other games we might have seen before. Lots of common elements there. You know what's funny? 
<laughs> they finally granted me the key for Enshrouded, and, uh... Yeah, I've already paid for the game. <laughs> Dang it. Alright, storage. Uh, I need string again. Let's make, uh, more... I need three string. I want to see this thing, like, connect together. I have a feeling what if I put it right next to it, based on the other... Oh, maybe not. Okay, no, it definitely doesn't. I thought maybe it would, like, automatically, like, connect it together based on the way that other building works, but... It doesn't. Uh, put that there. Oh, I want to make a... I want to make a bow. That'll be manually crafted, I suppose. Weapons, club, bow. Hey, look at that. We need string again. Yeah, strings used for like everything in this game. Okay, we have a bow. Oh, that's my that's my grappling hook. That's my glider. So we go like that. Actually, I'll put the I'll put my crafting hammer on my second hot bar. I have 30 of the wooden arrows. They only do like six damage. So I wonder if it does like the eight. Uh, well, it's power eight. Six damage. Anyway, I have a bow. We can shoot stuff now. 30 wooden arrows. Okay. Get out of here. <laughs> I really need to relocate this door. <laughs> We're supposed to go find that dude over there, but I'm curious what's in this little opening that's over here that we found. There was a staircase, like, right here. Into a cellar. We're in the shroud, but we've got almost five minutes that we can work in here. The club is effective against that guy. Oh! Oh, jeez, okay. I, uh, I broke that little thing and I thought it was giving me, like, a ring of protection, but it was, a, it was the exact opposite. It was a ring of more hurting. <laughs> oh, God. I'm gonna try the bow out. Dogs found something else to bark at. Did I just hear giveaway? I don't know if I can do that, actually. I'm not sure how the, uh, the keys work. I'll have to find out. Since I already bought the game, it would be perfect to do it as a giveaway. Holy cow, it's dark in here. What's up with that? Sure, it's of more hurting. Test it again. Oh, I tested it real good. <laughs> yeah, remember you uh, remember to consume stuff so I can keep that buff going. Never gonna remember. I wonder what's up with this thing. Mycelium overgrown block at workbench. Okay. I can make mushroom blocks. That's strange. dark in here.
I got old books. Okay, right, minute 20. I gotta get out of here before I get myself dead. I can breathe again. Take that shroud. This is Minecraft for adults? Yeah, any kind of like survival building game could be called that. Yep. <laughs> this one specifically has mushroom blocks though, so. Good old mycelium. Um. Sort storage. Oh, deposit stacks, refill stacks, take all. I wonder if depositing stacks is specifically just for things that are already in the box. Yes, it is. So shift R takes everything that's in your in your storage box already that's in your inventory and moves it over. And then you can shift click to put the other ones in there just manually. All right, fun. Okay, let's uh, get my stuff fixed. Okay, we can finally go do what I'm supposed to do. I know, I should have done it a while ago, but I'm a slacker. I'm exploring. I want to experience all there is to experience. Mistake all there is to mistake. Screw up all there is to screw up. I thought the fire would be protected from being shrouded. No, the whole idea with the... Uh, can you afford to pay for her? And you just said to forego the quiche he was gonna have for lunch. Oh, quiche! Don't you even. Oh, can I chop these down? No. Break stuff inside the tents, but I can't break the tent itself. We're headed to the shroud, baby. What do we got here? Another torch. They really like giving me torches. Captain's Journal, day 20. We're hungry. I had to destroy the bridge, and with it our connection to supplies, but it worked. We haven't seen any more scavengers. The cinder vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. For avoid To avoid starvation, uh, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Other choice is certain death. Oh yeah, no loot left unlooted. No mistakes left unmistaken. I presume they gave me the torch because I'm going to need it in the shroud. Stay on the path, lest the shroud's kin take you. Salvation lies straight ahead. Okay. They're already here. That's right, get wrecked. Sigil Ring of the Elder Guard. Stamina and health. Very nice. This hourglass capsule replenishes your remaining time in the shroud. It cons uh, it's consumed upon use and cannot be stashed in your inventory. Oh, well, we're not ready to do that yet. Stay on the path, but I want to go explore. No, oh, literally just cut straight through and then back up above the shroud. Or does it? Maybe not. Still shrouded. Holy crap, it's hard to see. The torch that does nothing. The uh, the sunlight's lighting up the shroud and making it hard to see through. It's like having your headlights on when you're driving in the fog. I haven't experienced the leap of faith on the cliff yet. When I, <laughs> I will get to that, but first we gotta get ourselves a fancy glider. No, I don't need that. Uh, spectacular progress is being made. To all who set their eyes upon my wondrous... No, allow me to begin. begin again. To all travelers, I have conquered this terrain with my greatness. I'm afraid that's not right either. The bridge is nearly finished and I cannot uh, find the words to express my joy, confound it. 
How lucky we had a beautiful, uh, how lucky we had a beautiful mine so close by for materials and ore. One thing I do know, I'll name this bridge Braylon, after my dearly departed fifth aunt. <laughs> Though if she were still alive, I'm not sure she would have be flattered. For her and the bridge share not just name, but a brash nature. Well, how rude. Should actually eat another food type thing. Our right, quest objective is this away. Welcome to. Oh, dude! Oh, what is that? Like a crossbow from hell. Elixir. Plus 30% damage multiplier. Minus one minute maximum time in the shroud. Oh. Huh. Interesting. Makes you tougher and weaker at the same time. Well, if you're in the shroud anyway. I guess you're... Oh, those look like traps. <laughs> Should we experiment and see if these are really traps? <laughs> Gatling crossbow? Did kind of look like that, didn't it? Yes, okay, what happens if you step in a trap? It hurts, <laughs> for the record. <laughs> I can set them again. Well, these are breaking too. Though not very. Okay. The pickaxe is a little bit more effective. I got us some more metal scraps at least. Oh! I broke one of the traps! Now what we do? Can swing across the chasm use a grappling hook, be on the lookout for these places. Okay. Well, oh, there's a chest down there. Step on another trap, please. Oh, uh, well, totally meant to do that. What? There we go. Like, why can't I grab that? Oh boy. Houston, we have a problem. I may have gone someplace that I shouldn't have yet. Explosive powder ball, mid-range weapon, 15 damage. Oh my god, there's hand grenades. I feel like I just got the holy hand grenade of Antioch. Can't proceed without a grappling hook. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? <laughs> I'm already over here. I don't know if I can get back. <laughs> it was a bit of a... We have an upward jump. You can jump pretty far. I don't know though. Test a grenade on yourself and see how effective it is. I'm gonna guess probably fairly effective. Here's the problem there's no mantling, so. <laughs> there's also no jumping when you get to a climbable. Oh, um, how am I supposed to. I guess I gotta go back down. Yeah, he just automatically climbs. You can't jump over that. <laughs> oh, man. I guess we're going down there. Ah! I think we found death. <laughs> Speaking of cross how, you can make a grappling hook eventually. All right, you come back to your little flame thing. Oh, I got all my stuff. That's how I dropped my stuff. I guess it was just uh, some of my... Stuff I was carrying or whatever. Crap. Oh, I gotta fix my things. That's what I get for exploring. It's proof that exploring isn't worth it. Yay, you made it for the death. Yeah, that was death number one. <laughs> the first of many.
Uh, I did drop the grenade. Yeah, I should have just wasted it, I guess. It's, uh, well, I, I'm hoping uh, that I can loot my body. I'm, I don't actually know. There is a death marker there showing on my compass at the top, so I'm assuming that I can I can loot loot my stuff back if I find my corpse. Go, buddy, go. Welcome to the shroud. Oh. Oh, that looks different. That's gross. Nasty looking shroid shroom or whatever that is. Shroud shroom. Um, so, my body. Could be over here somewhere. Didn't seem like I was gonna fall that far, but that's actually pretty high up. Shroud liquid I found. Well, that answers that. Oh, it put my stuff up there. So in order to get it, I'll have to fall to my death again. That's that's great. Um, that's an awkward looking mushroom. <laughs> Giggity. Ah, fuck God! <laughs> what is that thing? God! Got critter parts. I don't have any bandages. I lost the bandages I had. Creature attacked me in the shroud. It was horrible. I didn't like it at all. Well, maybe a little bit. It's the strong, it is the, it was the strongest shape. That was a very strong mushroom back there. RCE said so. Can you make a parachute? There's a glider we can craft, but uh, I need stuff to do it. The, uh, I can make wands or stabs. I guess I, I need my crafting bench to make it. Um, but there is uh there was something we needed from the shroud, so I don't know if I got what I needed there or not. <clears throat> but you can't craft a glider. There is magic, yep. Well, in the sense that like combat magic, um uh, I don't know about other types of magic. I don't know if there's like enchanting magic or any of that kind of stuff. But you can use like wands or staves as uh your preferred option. <laughs> it collects the string again. <laughs> yeah. It collects the string again so it can make the hose again. Or so it can make the rope again. It puts the string in the basket. Okay, so this guy's got these little... Flameborn pods over here. Oh, oh hey buddy. Um, my name's Cryptic. I'm uh, just exploring. Oh my god, he just kicked my butt! Joke's on you, I can heal. Oh. Joke's on me. This guy doesn't care that I heal. Bushes could conceal you when you're within them. Press C to crouch. Oh, that would have been good to see before I messed around with this dude. I get rid of these bugs. Oh, he did it for me. Nice. Good job, buddy. There we go. That's better. Metal scraps and another elixir. Okay. Oh, it looks like they've been like. It was like collecting and breaking into all the pods. Cinder vessel broke down during testing. The rat I used inside was charred by the coalescent flame. A bright flash, then nothing. Oh, ah, come on. Really? I don't have parrying down in this game yet. 
Ow, maybe I should target him. <laughs> Clearly my combat needs some practice. Should be able to parry stun. Yeah, I haven't figured out how the, the, the timing for the parrying yet. How you doing, Chen? Day off? Yeah, I took uh, today, tomorrow, and Friday off because I was excited for uh, Entrada to come out. Eureka! By the ancients, I've done it. Equilibrium. The subjects sleep yet can be awakened. They're dead yet alive. The subject does not decay. Is untouched by the coarse flow of time. Its flame soul and immortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Balthazar. <laughs> Got another grenade back. <laughs> Since we so conveniently lost that other one. Look forward to getting some other weapons. Hope they drop some string. <laughs> I really don't like it. Did you seal from them? I don't know. They seem to be somehow unhappy with the flameborn or something. I don't know. Oh, repair equipment. Well, that was handy. I wasn't expecting that. Guess we're going inside. Hmm, that looks like a perfectly safe barrel that I could definitely strike without any consequences. <laughs> Nope. Dogs are active again. Ancient Vault Blacksmith. This is not the most effective uh, bow. <laughs> Mind you, I'm using cruddy arrows, so that's... Probably a big part of the problem. It must be the beard. Yeah, that's probably what it is. It's probably the beard. Venture forth, it's done. The cinder vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype. Kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slips into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. That's fun. Hey, buddy. Oswald enters the blacksmith. Recipe unlocked. Summoning staff. Okay. So we'll have our own blacksmith now who can make stuff for us. That's fancy. That gives me access to a spiked club and a scrappy sword. You can make fur armor as well, which will be handy. Nails and such. Charcoal kiln. We actually get like a whole separate forge. I think I have to build the forge for him in order to be able to do this stuff. Need charcoal for that. So I guess I'll have to make the charcoal kiln too. It's Encino Man, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, it's Brendan Fraser. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening your map using M. Navigate to the map and select your home. I can fast travel? Ah, oh, crap. It's to show that I don't know very much. There's my tombstone where I died. Bridge construction report is over there. Home level one. Did we dinner? I can see Indus. How goes the storyline? I'm finding it too violent. You're finding it too violent? I mean, it's a combat survival adventure game. I don't know. I don't know. I like it so far. Uh, I need to build him a, um, a little blacksmith forge, I think. Here are my stiff. 
So the glider needed shroud spores and shroud wood. Oh, I didn't get shroud wood. I got some sort of like... Or did I? What, what did I get? I got something. Critter parts. Shroud liquid. I didn't get shroud wood. That's not convenient at all. I've got two of those grenades. Score. Oh, I do have a bandage. I must have looted that along the way. Um, put the bandage here in place of the uh, one torch. Can you recover stuff from the body? I can, but it's sitting in a place where if I go to recover it, I'll die again. Because <laughs> the only way down right now without the grappling hook from there is to drop. And the drop is a little bit on the far side, so it kind of kills me. I wonder if I could have jumped off the other end where it had told me I had to grapple before. Like going one direction I needed to grapple, but the other direction I could jump. Yeah, there's fast traveling. I just fast traveled home. Uh, Alright, so we need... Um, we need stuff to set up for the blacksmith. I think we actually have to build him a little blacksmith shop. We have an undiscovered survivor. We found Oswald. Who's the undiscovered guy? Summon... Oh, right. So we need the... We use the summoning staff to bring the blacksmith here. I just need twigs for that, apparently. Summons a rescued survivor to your base around a flame altar. Like the survivor wall on the side of the news. Okay. So let's, um... Let's build one of those, I guess. Oh, actually, is that a manual crafted item? Something staff. There we go. I need twigs. Where to put all my twigs? There you are. Uh, sort storage. Store stacks. Something staff. Okay, so with that now, ready summon staff, summon Oswald Anders, the blacksmith, <laughs> he literally like place him someplace, boop, hey! that's complete, what needs fixing, what needs fixing, Crafting first gear. Took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. They call you Flameborn? Well, first thing you need's a weapon. Lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword or spike club will serve us well. Uh, yes it will, I guess. Craft, okay. One-handed weapons. What's a scrappy sword? So we need metal scraps, we need nails, we need wood logs. So I gotta make nails first, so we're gonna get some... Get the scrap out of my thing of a bomber. Pick up your stuff and fast travel away. Yeah, I could do that. That would be the thing to do. What else did I need? I don't remember. I don't need the critter parts, though, that's for sure. Uh, I'll take the leather with me and the cloth, because I don't know, I might need those. Okay. Nails times two. We got those. Plenty of weapons. We can make a scrappy sword now. A blood sword designed to open uh, open up ways, especially through lines of enemies. 16 damage it does. That's a little better than the thing I'm using. We got a full armor set in fur. That requires, of course, string. Because everything requires string. It's insane. Where's that sword I made? Let's put that down here. I'll put the way the, uh, I probably am not going to need this club. It's pretty ghetto, but it did 11 damage. This does 16, so good improvement. Not crazy, but good. Uh, do I have fibery things? <laughs> of course I don't have fiber. Why would I have fiber? Dang it. He just stands in the corner and watches sleep throughout the night. Yeah, it's a little creepy. A little bit creepy. Um, so we can build that forge stuff for him. I don't know if that gives him like a buff. I should probably build him like a little separate room. At long last I return. I'm a humble blacksmith at your service. Let's prepare you for what's to come. 
Oh, I didn't mean to eat that. Oh well. Tried our new fancy sword. Oh, there's enemies here now. What are you doing in my territory? Like resisting my scrappy sword. That's not fair. Ooh. It's like they made the area more dangerous now that I've actually got a weapon. And they just gave me a sword. <laughs> what was that? Only does 11 damage, though. <laughs> Makes us feel safe or creeped out. Yeah, if you... I mean, I don't know. Maybe you like having somebody stand in the corner and stare at you. I don't, I'm not going to judge. I won't kink shame. Uh, I need... Uh, I need fiber for rope again, or string, or whatever you want to call it. Naturally, there's none here. I didn't notice this path over here before. Oh, look at that view! That's pretty epic. War! They took the Pike Mead's Reach. They killed King Gormander. An army of lunatics, sickly pale, barely lifted their feet above the bloodied ground. They dragged themselves through our valleys, through the miasma. Led by the Mad Guard of the North, Vorgoth. I always knew the elixir would sow the se a seed of distrust. I look up at the ancient spire at the sky. There's no running, no hiding. We must persevere. This Balthazar guy left a lot of books around. It's like a ruined castle or something down there in the fog. Cool. Alright, I came out here searching for stuff for string, but <laughs> instead I'm doing everything else. Yoo hoo, little guys! Ain't so tough. No bushes here. Big idea with the lack of bushes. Oh, I found a cave. Oh crap, I found a wolf! <laughs> found multiple wolves? Ooh, got backstab damage. Nice. Didn't realize that was a thing. Nice. Okay. Note to self, it's better to stab things in the back. Ah, oh, crap! <laughs> I think this might be a wolf den. Not saying, just saying. Another wolf over there. Got backstab damage on the arrow, that's cool. Pretty heavy arrow drop, but this is also a pretty crappy bow. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, it was literally just like an, an, an animal pen for wolves in here. All right, that's fun. Automatic combat music when you get into combat. Ow, jerk! These guys don't attack my base since they're wandering so close to it. That was not the guy I wanted to target. It's 
sneak, 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 sneak. He's on to me. <laughs> You'll never see me coming. Oh crap. <laughs> He's actually not terribly observant. He's worse than I am, and that's saying something. Now, how much uh, stuff did I get? Ten. It's enough to make three string. It's not really enough to craft a lot. You've awakened your kin, the flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in the springlands. Shroud go for that. Bones, shroud, look, but I did get some. Spark, animal fur, red mushrooms, and resin. I've got a bunch of that. Spark, I don't have. I don't know what the deal is with the spark yet. Alright, what was I going to make with this guy? Armor or something, right? Oh, cleansing fire. Embervale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir well with your new gear and raise the root of our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, Flameborn. Even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Test my nade. Glider! The flame doesn't give you wings, kid. Craft the glider at the workbench. It'll make getting around a little easier. Perfect for brave ones like you. Don't forget that using a glider drains stamina. But from what I've seen, you've got it in ya. I think what he means is I'm reckless and I'm prone to death. And so it's fine. Um, yeah, I need a lot of string. Ugh, string is going to be the bane of my existence at this point. I need three measly strings. Um, let's get the chest armor first, I guess. Chest armor and gloves will do for now. So I'll go from uh, 17 physical resist to 26. That's a good upgrade. And I got some fancy gloves now I didn't have before. I guess I could probably just destroy the stuff that I don't need. I don't think there's a way to break it down. There we go. Look up some more meat. Oh wait, those have got to be on my hot bar, don't they? Yep. Bang. hot bar cooking. Um, I'm assuming it'll cook the honey. Because, I mean, it's honey. More stuff, more storage! <laughs> I'm gonna have to keep making storage, yeah. Sadly, I need more string, because it takes string to make the storage. String's like the bane of my existence right now. It's like a never-ending thing to get. I got food. The journal say. I wonder who the uncovered survivor is that I didn't find in the thing so far. Uh, so grappling good is metal scraps, shroud spores, and string. I could make one of those. If I had more string. Because <laughs> again, I need string. This doesn't really heal me a whole lot to be laying on the bed. Uh, I'm just wrecking thread here. Yeah. Oh wait, it did go daytime when I slept. I'm thinking advanced time when I laid down. Maybe it was just convenient timing. Um. Okay, so meat. 
Regardless of which type of meat it is, all counts the same. At least of those two types. Let's stock up with some shrooms so we can get another food type in here. Backpack. Oh, I guess I can have berries. There we go. Berries. Health regeneration is active. I'm gonna explore the shroud. I also wanna make I wanna make the uh, the glider, so we gotta go get some shroud wood. Because we have to get very excited in the shroud. Just got off and shrouded and showing you there's an update. Well that's not surprising. Day one launch or whatever, there's almost always updates. This looks like more mushroom than tree, but... Oh, I got shroud liquid off of that thing. That's fun. Regular twigs. That got me nothing. Will this give me shroud wood? Shroud wood, there we go. Spiritual cane at the alchemist. I get very spiritual. Shroud wood block at vendor, okay. But we don't try to kill cryptic. That'd be good. Thank you. Update the server hotfix. It was having issues with server connecting. I kind of was anticipating that. Um. Which is why I picked a solo game, but I, mean, I was going to play solo anyway, so I probably wouldn't have gone with the server, but... Day one launch of anything that's server-related, there's almost always problems. Seemed like a reasonable decision. Oh, what is this? Oh, more Shroud Liquid. So all the plants here give Shroud Liquid. Very non-discriminating. There's a dog at PetSmart that barked like a lot. Nice. <laughs> She's a professional barker, that dog. Good night, have fun as it's near 4 a.m. Have a good night, Peter. Thanks for popping in. Okay, I've got the shroud wood I needed. I think I needed a whole lot of it. I got 24 pieces of it. More than anything, what I really need is the uh, the plant fiber. That's the thing I thought would be easy to get. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go in the. Um Let's go up the other side of it. Oh, wait. I wonder if I had plant fiber on my body when I died. <laughs> let's, let's go get re I'll reclaim my body and then we'll come back and cross over. Check the day off, Cryptic. Yeah, I have, uh, I have the rest of the week off, actually. So I'm going to be playing this uh, today until about 10 to 1. And then I have a meeting. So I have to get offline for that. Uh, and then, uh, I'll be playing again later tonight, and then, uh, same thing the rest of the week. I'll be playing during the day and then at night. So, two streams a day for, uh, Wednesday through Friday this week. 
Why is there a timer at the top? So when you go into the shroud, which is the foggy area that lies in the lowlands, um, you can only survive in there for so long, so it applies a timer. Uh, there is stuff you can do to reset the the shroud timer. There's um, there's actually a thing sitting right down there near the path we can grab. It's a one-time use that resets the shroud timer. As we level up, the amount of time we can spend in the shroud will increase. But it's like the, the dangerous area you don't really want to be in kind of thing. That poor bunny. That bunny was innocent. It's my job to kill him, not yours. I got backstab damage on that shot. Oh! In your face, wolf. Oh, we got with bone? Man, that was a really skinny wolf. Okay, I feel bad for killing it now. It, it obviously needed to kill that bunny. Poor thing was on its last legs. Starving to death out here. I murdered it. There's got to be a better way to get fiber than what I'm doing. I didn't see, like, a scythe or anything, though. So, like, we can't craft anything that way. Next campfire torch lockpick. Wooden arrows. Here's the wand. It does 11 damage. Plus one mana regeneration, 150 max durability, 10% overcharge. A magical wand carved out of bones. Lifeless and cold, it shoots magical ice projectiles. This wand holds a chance to amplify its damage output. Tax deal bonus damage up to the overcharge percentage. I kind of want to make one, just to see what it's like. What's the deal with the wands? Uh, put that in place of the pickaxe for now, because I'm not really using the pickaxe. Hi, dear. Oh. Sorry. Can you grab your bag and fast travel home? Yeah, I can. That's the one I'm going to try to do. I just figured while I'm over here, there's all these bushes that have all this wonderful fiber in it that I need. I figured we'd stock up before we go back. Oh, there's a, there's a mine there. I know, I just literally said that at like 30 seconds ago. Yep. Oh, I might have. I don't know. That's what I meant was down to two. You're a hairy wizard. <laughs> yeah, he kind of is. Look, it's got a little glowy tip on it. I wonder if I cast any light when I'm in the dark. Pew! It resisted my ice wand. Come back here. Little crazy rabbit. <laughs> it's not terribly effective. But then I guess, as the very first thing I've crafted, and my guy not being all that wizardy. <laughs> Verdict so far, uh, how far to compare to Valheim? Well, I mean, it has, uh, there's certainly things you can say that are common between it and Valheim. In terms of, like, uh, having food and, uh, Having them provide you like a buff or whatever when you have the food equipment. Man, I, the dogs are just barking like crazy. <laughs> um, I don't know. The the building is very different. I've been really looking forward to this game though, so I'm probably kind of biased. I want to see what it has to offer as like more of an adventure. But the early part of the game, you know, it's it's fun. You run around, gather stuff like you do in most survival crafting games. Fiber seems to be a problem. I'm spending more time trying to get plant fiber than anything else, which is a bit weird. Uh, so I can make string. Combat's fun so far, although I'm, I've only got very simple weapons. Use a different elemental weapon. Well, I, all I've got is the one right now. I'm enshrouded. Why is there a hole here? The shroud hole. Kind of seems like that's there for a reason, but... Maybe... 
Maybe I need to mine here. I wonder if this is just more mycelium. Yeah. Alright, that's probably just a place to get mycelium. I don't really need that. Right, let's get my bag wheel back and craft the stuff I need. Source of that liquid? Maybe. We can also get that in the shroud, though, so I'm not really sure. Work now. When I get home, I'll be playing for the next three days. Yeah. I can relate. I'm trying to get this little piece of metal here, but I have a feeling I'm actually chopping a tower over under my own feet. <laughs> the shrouded timer reaches zero, what happens? You die. The shroud is a toxic zone, so you, you can be in there for a little while, but you can't stay there. Anyway, like, I'm obviously not going to get that. Take that, traps. So this is where I, uh, there's my torch right there for my, oh god! Okay, phew. There we go. Retrieve! I had fiber in here, hooray! Okay, I got my stuff back. We can just fast travel, but I'm gonna just check and see if I could have actually just jumped across the gap over here. In the one direction you definitely have to grapple, but in the other direction it might actually be high enough. Oh no, I wouldn't have made that jump. <laughs> Alright, I don't feel bad. I actually did have to die because of what I did. Oh, what's that over there? I guess it's our next quest objective. I was in... I was over here, I think, mucking around. That looks like it's in the shroud I have to go through to get to that. Fast travel home, baby! This should prove that I die in the shroud? Why would I do that? <laughs> So much more storage. Uh, okay, so... I got a lot more fiber now, so I can finally make a decent amount of string. Let's talk to this guy and get the rest of my armor made. Okay. Break a leg. Oh, snap. So <laughs> break a leg. For trousers, so they're yeah, they're a little bit better. It's not the best stuff, but it's better than <laughs> that is a really ugly hat. Long range power attack. Oh, wait a minute! I can put my bow there. How do I then? Oh, I can just... Oh, neat. So, I can have the uh, the bow in its own, like, hot slot. So, instead of... I can still be using my sword, and then just hit, hit Q to quickly snap off an arrow. And then go right back to my weapon. That's kind of cool. Can I get that arrow back? No. If all the followers would give him $1 a month, he could go full-time. Yep, yeah, well, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not so much. Well, followers, maybe. Members, not so much. Why, oh, for science, of course. Enchanted entertainment, tradition, etc., etc. Well, let me, um... I'm gonna make some storage here first. I feel like I should probably set up a blacksmith forge for this guy. Uh... Where is that? Is it my manual crafting? Workbench, summoning hammer. 
Where do I make the forge at? Maybe I have to make it with him? Storage, shaft coming. I, I might just be blind, but I don't see it here. Maybe I gotta talk to him to craft it. Yeah, there it is. Productive place, forge. Workplace that will enable new crafting possibilities for the blacksmith. So stone, metal scraps, and charcoal. The charcoal is gonna be a problem. Now I don't get out. And I don't... He's telling me to get out. He's in my house. What a jerk. Yeah, I don't have any coal yet. Um, so the charcoal kiln is just stone. I can make that. Okay. I'm gonna put the charcoal kiln outside so I don't have to deal with the smoke indoors. How's the performance of this game? So far it's been good. Uh, stream said there was a bit of a lag at one point when I was uh, playing really early on. Oh, hey Timber. Uh, I was playing really early on, but um, I didn't see any, any performance lag in the game itself when I was playing. It's just a stream thing, I guess. What's going on, buddy? Yeah, how about you get down? Not right now. I was playing in the demo. We started making a full town and built a smithy as its own building. Yeah, I'm going to build a, like a separate building for him eventually. I just don't want to go like too crazy building here right now because I'm probably not going to stay in this location. So I want to make the stuff that I need to progress, but I don't necessarily want to build like a huge crazy thing yet. Place items for your inventory here to make them available in the factory. Here you can track the production process. The factory will produce the selected recipe until no ingredients are left uh, or the factory's inventories are full. Switch between the recipes you've unlocked uh, the factory here. All right, so we want charcoal, obviously. I need wood logs and dirt. <laughs> well, dirt we don't have, but I'm guessing I could just dig a hole and get dirt. <laughs> Do I need a shovel, I wonder, or will the pickaxe work? Oh, God, Timber, I keep putting you down. You keep getting back up. What's up with you? This is not me stone. I'm not getting dirt out of this. Oh, there we go. Just digging right on the ground. That'll do it. I'm a dwarf and I dig a hole. Diggy diggy hole. Make him his own place so he's not watching you sleep. Was he creeping you out a little bit? Maybe just a little bit? I love that you can dig in the ground. So one of the, I think one of the nice things about the the way the terrain deformation works in this compared to Valheim is with Valheim you can't have something over your head. With this game though, you can dig a tunnel, which means you can have an underground base if you wanted one. <laughs> That's right, the shovel's a lie. Oh, cat, you're driving me batty. What are you doing? I need you to get down. Not, not, to, not right now. You can go on camera later. Uh, I need my logs. Am I out of logs? Oh. Alright. I guess I used them all. Uh, metal scraps. <sighs> Timber, buddy. Come on. You're killing me here. You're killing me. Hold on, cat cam's coming on. I gotta fix my camera though. Rotten cat. <laughs> He's like, it's my stream. I must be on camera. There he is. Oh, you can see him. It's too dark. There you go, Timber. Mistress Runa. Runa, diggy diggy hole is a quote from my channel because I'm always digging holes. Game looks good so far. Yeah, it's been good so far. I mean, I'm really early in. I haven't really accomplished a whole lot. <laughs> but I've done uh, some of the basic stuff. Oh, I do have logs on me. Why did I think I didn't have any logs? We got the first blacksmith. We're going to work on make... Oh, because I don't have... I see why. Because I didn't actually put them in here first. All right. Uh, it's just automatically crafting. The only thing I can craft right now is charcoal. 
So my options are a little bit limited. <laughs> but charcoal is all we really need because I need that for the uh, for the forge. I need ten of it in total. I gotta get some more stone so I can just go whack that rock some more. Never catch Crypticon stream Daggold watches and I catch things that way. Nice. Yeah, I stream at kind of a weird hour sometimes. With all the family stuff going on or whatever. I don't I don't very often stream during the day. This is a rarity for me. It's also mean you can have a basement in your house. It does, yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff. I think the it'll be really interesting to see the cool stuff that people decide to build in this game, I think. Because like not only with the um, being able to like terraform or whatever, sculpt the ground, um, but with being able to build with individual block pieces, I think some people are gonna build some pretty crazy stuff. All right, Timber, you're kind of you're driving me batty here. You're not settling. Get out of here. Come back later. Oops. It's knocking my mic all over the place. Wow. Does it really... It takes five minutes to produce 15 charcoal. Yikes. He wants to rub the... Yeah, he constantly pushes it out of the way on me. <laughs> and he also, like, it bangs the pop filter into the mic. It's kind of not ideal. Cook some more food. Oh, he's back again. This does have multiplayer, yeah. You can play up to 16 player multiplayer with this. Um, so it's pretty decent size. Now I'm just playing I'm playing single player right now, but um it is an option. I'm just gonna delete this clothing I don't need. It's taking up inventory space. This sword, I oh I can salvage the weapon. Oh, I got runes out of it. Runes attract and store magical energy from all around them, used to enhance weapons. Okay. Okay, so we can salvage from things, that's good. I was looking at my own clothing and I was like, well, I can't really get anything out of this. I just destroyed it, but I guess the other things we can salvage. That's cool. Uh, get this stuff away. Oh, the glider, right. What do I need for the glider? Trout would end up for string and shroud spores. Put the, the shroud spores somewhere. There they are. Okay. Manual craft a little bit of string. Oh, baby, we're getting a glider. It's not going to be a good glider, but it'll be a glider. <laughs> Metal scraps and string, I can make uh, the grappling hook too. So let's make. I need seven string. I wonder if I have enough string. Or five, yeah. There we go. And I need my metal scraps back. Timber buddy, you're you're driving me batty here. Give me what give me a half a second. I'm just gonna check and make sure he's got food. He might be bugging for food right now. Well, he was hungry, but he actually had food in his dish. I think he just didn't know where his dish was. <laughs> oh, he can build scaffolding, I guess. That's cool. Uh, all right, we got the glider. I want the grappling hook now. Got an achievement for making a grappling hook. Character, grappling hook. 40 stamina cost, 30 tool that can help you cross many chasms along the way. And then the glider will be fun to play with. We're gonna glide down into the shroud the next time we go down there. 
Old school, anyhow, cryptic. Gotta walk the long 30 feet to work. <laughs> Have a nice one, and thanks for the preview. Thanks, old school, appreciate the super chat. Enjoy the day at work. It's funny, I'm only still only level two so far. That's wacky. Uh, what did I need to make this thing increase? Strength of the flame, resin, mushroom, bones, shroud liquid. Oh, I still haven't gotten the spark yet. Okay, we got charcoal. I'm gonna let that just turn everything into charcoal. I know there's a whole bunch of logs in there, probably could you Wood acid? What the heck is a wood acid? That's weird. Okay, forge, I need more metal scraps. Oh, wait, I need my logs. Give me back my logs. Change my mind. I'm taking like half of them if I can. <laughs> it's not like a uh take all move action. There's not like a like a half stack ram. Oh a split stack, there we go. Okay. Got it. See if I got any more whoops, any more metal scraps in here. I don't think I do. Well, crap. I don't have the metal. I don't have enough metal scraps now because I built that other stuff. Totally worth it, though. The honey in here too. Um. Okay. I gotta get. Uh, I gotta get wood scraps. Or not wood scraps. Uh, metal scraps. Maximum health increase. We'll take the berry and then uh, we'll drink some water. Buffs acquired. Now, how do I use the glider? That's the that's the question here. Let's try to test it on something where I'm not going to fall to my death right away. There we go. <laughs> Let's see how it works, though. Ah. Sure how to. I don't know. I don't know if I can like pull back to like. I want to fly a, a farther away, but I want to like have some sense of what I'm doing. I don't think I can like pull back on it to like lift up or like dive down at a steeper rate. Hmm. Well, only one way to find out for sure. Let's uh, let's just take the plunge. Boy, that, those berries do not last long as a buff. Holy. We'll go down there. It looks like there's... Uh, well, the bridge is over there, so let's... The quest I have to get next is... Um, past these ruins in that little spot over there where the glow is. There's like a red glow just above my head. I take stamina to fly, so this should be interesting. Okay, I can dive, but I can't... Oh boy, I can't get more altitude. Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> the glider's cool, you can dive, but it's, you're not really getting a chance to pull back up after. So you, so you can't, like, dive to build speed and then pull back to, like, level out again. Yeah. Hurts me more. I probably shouldn't jump on that. Timber, you're back already. What's going on, buddy? Practice my parrying and get the timing down for that too. It's probably more effective than just uh, blocking or roll dodging.
Build a scaffolding tower and then fly? Well, I just jumped off a cliff and flew, so that works. Oh god, cat. <laughs> okay, stop, stop. You're trapping me, baddie. Just because you're cute doesn't mean you can do whatever you want, you know? The evil one is back. He's returned. Okay, look, I need, I need you to not rub on the microphone. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna grab this thing here that extends my shroud time again. Door time. Did it fully restore? It did. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, left to right, next to the left. All hail the evil one. <laughs> oh, judging by the little spark that flew past me, I'm gonna guess I'm supposed to go this way. Oh, oh god, no, maybe not. Oh lord, oh, oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I gotta get out of the shroud. I've got 37 seconds to get out now. Okay, pink shroud bad. Pink shroud very, very bad. Let me out of the shroud. And shrouded, leave now. Jeez. Okay. Definitely, definitely don't want to mess with the pink stuff. That was, uh, that was dangerous. <laughs> Okay, so for the record, turning left there was not the choice. You're so disappointed. What well, that I didn't let the uh didn't let the shroud kill me? <laughs> There's still time, don't worry. I'm sure there'll be a shroud death in here somewhere. Quest location above. Oh wait, have I gotta fly and land on a tower? Hold on, let's go this way. Why is he purple? Ow, you jerk! With the elixir well. Pine short bow! I think his bow's worse than my bow. On Elixir Well, the springs of the Elixir. Another Elixir Well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away tirelessly to gouge a tunnel into the earth. The plans for this construction are otherworldly. The chasm spits fumes with every jab. Thin veils of mist cause headaches and irritate the eyes. All for the elixir. Hope this foul air will not spread to Lone Thistle. That Balthazar guy is like, his writing's everywhere. That was just insanely nosy. He's like, I'm gonna be everywhere. Cool. Figured out how to grapple. Oh, hi guys. Hey, Bart, why don't we see you do a chainsaw on Maggie Mask? Ow, that hurt. Oh, got a parry. Nice. Jerk, stop that. Let's 
These guys are slow moving. Like, you know, walking around behind them is not too hard. Okay, that was definitely an explosive barrel. <laughs> I've only got like two minutes left in the shroud already. I wonder if there's uh, something here. I can oh, there we go. Return beacons to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Stand near them with their feet. Or to feel their effect, rather. Um, okay. Well, that was handy. Little return beacons. How does it run? I mean, I'm having no trouble with it, but I'm also not playing on a server, so I'm not sure. I'm just playing single player. Single player local save. I suspect with the the interest in the game, there's probably a whole bunch of people playing on servers right now, so there might be a different experience there. I don't think I was trying to target. Jeez! <laughs> Exploding plants, man! Love of the game, minute character, and fans maxed, lol, but it runs smooth. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that could be a thing. What are these? Break this thing or not, I'm just curious what's in it. If anything. Oh, that does better damage. Damn it, it being a problem. Would never play on a server. It sounds too scary. <laughs> well, you could. The, the, when I say a server, is because you could play multiplayer with up to 16 people. Like a dirt roadblock. That's weird. Friend. Parrying is very effective. Not surprisingly, I guess. Locations above for this quest. I wonder if I have to fly in there and land on it. Which could be really hard because you can't, uh. You can't really aim all that well. I definitely can't grapple up there. Maybe I gotta get up above and then jump down? Where am I gonna fly from? I can't... F oh, this is actually the building I saw from home. Uh, okay. So I can fly from there. Let's fast travel home and I'll fly and see if we can land where that thing's telling me I'm supposed to. I can't fast travel. Oh, fast travel is not possible from in here. That's fun. Is the archery better? The arrow and demo seem to fly weird. Uh, it seems okay. It, it has a fair amount of arrow drop, but I'm also using a really crappy bow, so that probably would have a lot to do with that, I would think. It does have a neat thing where you can set a ranged weapon, so if you're, um, Shepard Staff. Gradable ranged weapon. If you're into using staffs. Um, you could be using a melee weapon and you hit Q, and, or hold down Q, and it'll use your ranged weapon without having to swap to it, which I kind of like. There's a little bit of weapon swapping, anyway. That doesn't look very promising down there. 
Oh, that's probably the elixir well. Um, I'm reluctant to go down there and do that in case I, like, short-circuit the quest chain. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna fall to my death there. It's very dark. Yeah, that goes farther down. I don't want to go that way. I can climb this thing. Yes, I can. Holy cow. Not enough stamina. Level 3 apprentice wand. Location's below me here now. Wait, this is location above. Now it says location below. What's up with this? How's this location above again? What the heck, man? That's just, that's gotta be just a random arrow point. It is telling me to reach the well, so it's gotta be down here. Looks like they changed the area slightly from the demo. Do you notice any other difference? Um, no, I didn't really play a whole lot of the demo, so I, I played a really early version of the build. Not ages ago, and then I got distracted by the things that didn't play a lot of the demo. I'm kind of having to relearn stuff as I go along because it's been so long since I played it. Flask of the Fell, plus 20 stamina. Shroud grants power to not only the fell, but to whoever drinks from this flask. Oh, look at this mess under here. I'm gonna guess I probably shouldn't walk on that, because everything red is danger. <laughs> Threats nearby. We got combat music, but I don't see the enemy. Oh, there he is. Hey, old friend. He's big. Oh, God, I fell. Fell Thunder Brute Head. Its brain has been replaced by fungi, fungi and slush. But it's still tremendously heavy. The face is permanently petrified with a bitter expression. And we got a Tainted Axe Legendary. I wonder if it's a random chance of getting these things. Like what the quality um, likelihood is of getting these. Alright, I have a Tainted Axe now. Shroud Root's the source of our misery. Destroy it with, the, with a Felling Axe and Prosper. 
Alright, well, where's my fancy new axe? Wait, does that not count? Is that just combat axe? Yep. That's what it was. Yay! I destroyed the shroud here. But I think it's only temporary, if I remember correctly. Quest completed. Clear the elixir well. Can't go there, though. Ow! Dang it! <laughs> Got a legendary right away, that's kind of weird. 14 damage compared to the 16 damage of my sword. 250 max durability, plus 2 cutting damage, plus 2 blunt damage, plus 2 cutting damage. That's all locked though. A mighty one-handed axe tainted by the blood of the fallen. It looks as though like I have to unlock stuff in it. How does one do that, I wonder? And why is it worse than the scrappy sword in terms of like the amount of damage it does? Weird. I wonder if stuff unlocks as I increase skill with it, maybe? You don't know if the lava will burn. Yeah, I don't think it's actually lava. I think it. I mean, I guess it could be. It's not lava. <laughs> it's the, uh, just like the really intense version of the shroud. <laughs> not, not something you want to mess with. Because uh, I can't cut trees or mushrooms with just any axe. Yeah, right? Gotta use a felling axe, not a regular axe. The, uh, the attack pattern with it is different, though. Like, with the felling axe, you've got that speed up effect when you're, like, smashing stuff. I mean, this thing feels weightier, but it... Feels like it should be tougher, but does less damage than the sword does. Seems weird. I don't know if you can actually break those chests or not, I just figured I would see. The journal told me to go. Nowhere. Guess we'll go home. Take all these uh, loots back with me. Probably can on the forge. Oh, for upgrading it? Yeah, maybe. With the ores and stuff you find in the wild. Yeah, they did say that... Um, I was looking at some something I had picked up and it said that it was useful for upgrading things. Used to enhance weapons. There we go. The uh, the runes. Uh, I wonder if I can do it on the forge or if I need like a special. I might need a special bench or something for that. Hold on. The sun's shining. It did a thing. We got sun shining down here now instead of the uh, awful evilness. He's like, what'd you do to my awful evilness? I'm using the axe just because it feels weird to have a legendary axe and not use it in favor of a scrappy, a little crappy sword. Oh, you jerk! Oh, the sun's actually problematic. It lights up the shroud. Metal scraps if we can find them.
It's like a weird place of respite in the middle of the shroud now. I'm sure from here I can fast travel home. I wouldn't have to run all the way back. Or we could fly over to that. Although my glider I don't think will carry me that far. Watch it, maybe get power rolled. Now he might make me get this too. Dang you, Fox! <laughs> it's the nature of seeing games. You can't help it. Bye. All my stuff fixed. Uh, did I get enough stuff to actually make the forge Watch now? Sparks flying. Scaling an ancient spire. Mm. Ember Vale has changed. Before our time, a race of ancients built towers to survey the land. The ancient spires. One is close by. Climb it and discover the world anew. All right. Anything else? Yeah, make me things. Do stuff. All right, I've got the charcoal and the logs. Uh, oh, I'm one scrap short. Did I? Break your leg. I might have scrap in here. Tell me, I've got scrap in here. I need one scrap. I don't have any scrap in here. Ah, uh, wonder what I do with the uh, Thunderbrood head. Maybe I can make a decoration or something out of it. Okay, I gotta find one scrap somewhere. Oh wait, nope. Oh. Backpack. Weird. I can salvage that weapon that I have, but I can't salvage the shield. Dirt roadblock. Equipped terrain material. Yeah, I don't need that. Salvage the staff. Uh, the apprentice wand is better than the wand I made, so we'll get rid of that. What we got here? What's this? Oh, a shroud core. Ooh, not. <gasps> no, don't do that. Oh, God. <laughs> I almost deleted my legendary axe. Scrap! I need one one metal scrap. I've only got nine. I gotta find like a barrel or something I can scrap. Commune with the flame. Behold, a glimmer of strength, flame born, felling the shroud root, granted you skill points. Spend them in the skill tree to unlock new wondrous powers. Forget the way of the warrior, the uh, the ranger, and the wizard. You must forge your own path if you wish to survive. Hooray! Skill points. Oh, I know where I needed that. No, no, the was that a spark I got? No, that, that was a core I had. I needed the core for something. I thought there was something that said it needed a core. Oh well, probably not important. That soldier deleted a good weapon. Yeah, no, I didn't. I still got it. I almost scrapped it, but I, I didn't. This is it here. Tainted, uh, tainted axe in hand. I'm gonna figure out how we can upgrade this thing. I need to find a little bit more scrap metal, though. We need like one more scrap metal. I don't know if there's any more in the fort here we can find. <laughs> Found some arrows. Didn't think that was gonna break for a second.
Just grab it for science, you don't need it. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the chopping animation is a little robotic. It starts off slow too, and then it speeds up as you uh, keep the button held down. Scoop some more water. The textures aren't loading in right away. It well looks fuzzy. Now it's got its textures. That's weird. Some opportunity for performance there, I guess. There's gotta be a metal scrap here. Ow, oh, you little jerk! Jeez! Stupid rat. All I want is a metal scrap. It can't chop his shield, apparently. <laughs> It's a very, uh, very stiff jump animation. No. Nope. It looks like a metal bed. Pretty gigabyte patch for Enshroud. Oh, there's a, a patch that big. Apparently they had to patch some observer performance stuff. What time's my meeting? It's a 10 to 2, so I've got another 50 minutes. I have a feeling this isn't going to break, even though it looks like it should. <laughs> Give me the metal! the easiest way to get metal is. I thought I could like smash something in here relatively easy and get it, but it's not looking promising, honestly. I guess not. I gotta find something. the tar like a tar pit you can make tar by uh by overcooking food but um i haven't found like a tar pit or anything yet so far like if you're trying to make the uh the tar pieces or whatever is that the only way no there's, there's got to be a way to actually like gather it or harvest it from somewhere i just haven't found it yet but i haven't gone very far We've taken out the first one of the um, uh, the shroud roots or whatever they're called. But that's it. I haven't gone farther than that. I still can't build that forge. Um, I'm gonna have to go back down. I guess we'll fight and adventure some more. Hopefully, find the metal scraps we need. We can come back up and make the forge. Missed the door next to the bed when you tried to smash. Oh well. It was all like, let me smash, and it wouldn't let me. Oh, there's two different types of storage now. If I get nails, I can make, uh... Well, then I'd have to use my metal scraps. Let's just go ahead and we'll, we'll make the... Make the string-based one instead.
Now, is it stackable? Oh, it is. Alright, sweet. Uh, what I don't know is if it's going to be a pain in the butt to put stuff in there, but... Oh, actually, I should probably have that one on me. So this one reduces my shroud time, which I'm not thrilled about, but it gives me a damage multiplier. This one just boosts stamina. I'll hold on to the stamina boosting one, I guess. Uh, this bow does 10 power versus the 8 power bow that I have equipped. So that would be the better option to have. Character. There we go. Nice to get a backpack extension eventually. Okay. Let's go adventure. See where we can glide to from up here. How do you get tar you needed for your roof? Uh, well, the roof I didn't make with tar. I, uh, I used um, just a regular thatch for that. Did I get a metal scraps while mining rocks? No, I don't think I did. Maybe. I don't know. Let's check. I don't recall seeing any. I think it was all just stone. There might be, like, uh, metal nodes we can find that we can harvest from. Alright, so... Where were we? I wonder if there's something in the shroud came back. So that was the, the place we cleared out there. got wood. Not one of those grapple points. Ooh, I wonder if I can mine these crystal things. What are these? Salt! Bowl of Springlands. Mine every valuable material in the Springlands. Well, I guess that was the last valuable material to mine. I wonder if later on... Oh, look at this. It actually exposes more as you dig in the ground. Uh, I wonder if later on there'll be, like, recipes or something we'll need the salt for. Like, if we can set up, a, like, a better cooking thing than the little campfire we have. Or I guess the, we're using the fireplace, but... You did burn... I did burn some food, yeah. Yeah, so if you're cooking food at your, at your fireplace or a campfire, just keep holding it there after it's already done. <laughs> It'll turn into tar, but you only get one piece. It's not exactly what I would call a good source of tar. There's gotta be a better way to get it. Okay, that's enough salt for now because I don't even know what I need it for. Where does it tell me to go? Oh, it's sending me a... Oh, I didn't even need to go in here. Alright. This thing will definitely give me metal. There it is. There, metal scraps. <laughs> it does not like hitting this one flying gate for some reason. Gotta be a better source of metal scraps than just chopping those things. That takes too much work. Uh, oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> I just, I just got myself stuck. No! I get, I get fast travel out of here, but. <laughs> I 
Maybe I can crouch. I can't crouch out either or roll. Oh, I, you're right. I can't fast travel. I'm in the shroud. Oh, no. This is bad. He's real bad. Definitely, definitely not good. Is there unstuck command? Settings controls, report a bug, send feedback, join us on Discord. Nope. It shows it's taking damage, but I don't know if it's this thing I'm hitting or if it's the ground at its base that I'm hitting that's throwing up the damage number. Mind your way out. I can't break through that. I can even like there's a grapple point up there but it's too far away the trout's gonna kill me in here oh there we go Woo. okay we're out we're out we're, out, we're good good lord <laughs> it to me to get myself killed in the most innocuous of ways No, I can't build here unless, uh, what? Um, you only build within the area that you have your flame set up. But I managed to glide out, so it's alright. I just jumped and glided and it kind of scooted me on top of the container. Curses! Turn out, we're good. Everything's fine. <laughs> if you run out of stamina when you're climbing, you fall, just for the record. That's the tower they want me to climb there. I'm assuming. Yeah. Grapple for the win. Wow, oh, jeez. <laughs> Wasn't paying attention. One challenge with uh, using Q for this option is that um, when you're using mouse and keyboard, it's a little bit inconvenient to like strafe left when you gotta hold the letter Q also. <laughs> Hey, metal scrap. Nice. Oh, it shoots faster the more you do. The same as, like, uh, when you're mining stuff, or chopping with the axe, rather. He's trying to stay out of the way of my arrows. And I'm on the toe. I'm out of arrows, dang it. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah, I'm over there looking for wood scraps, or metal scraps rather, and they're like... ...dropping exactly what I need over here. <laughs> Bow power 10 that's lower than the one I got already. 
Imagine this. You spot sunken stone pillars on the horizon, obscured by mounds of dirt. They stretch towards the sky like a titan's stone, cold finger bones. The mark of a hidden tomb. The stairs inside lead into darkness. Torch in hand, you slip down into uncertainty, into dread. Yet your search drives you deeper. A morbid treasure calls for you, left to rot in the dust. Is it family jewels? Heirlooms from far away shores? Whatever it is, my friend, it'll be the foundation of our empire. The cornerstone, a fortress, uh, sorry, the cornerstone to a fortress raised from spilled blood. Sounds good? I know the right location. If you take up the search, uh, Gareth, I'll spit the deal, uh, so I'll spit the goods, deal? Alright, so we're looking for... Stuff. Ooh, can I scrap this thing? Well, I scrapped it, but it didn't didn't drop any metal. Sense setting already. Where am I going? Is this even the right way? This isn't even the right way. Oh my god. Oh god, it's getting dark. It's so dark. That looks like metal right there. Or is this just more of that flintstone? Oh, it's flintstone. There was a bed in that tent, yeah. I should see if I, if it will uh, progress the daytime for me. I mean, it's an enemy tent, so I don't know if the enemies are going to come along while I'm sleeping. That could be awkward, but... Might speed times 60. Okay, so it does accelerate the time. Yeah, nice. Alright. Maybe they'll just crawl in and cuddle. Nothing like spooning with the enemy. <laughs> There'll be a major uh, motion picture coming up about that later. pillar. <laughs> Location above, you don't say. Ancient Spire, Springlands. Location mocked. I don't want to go in there. Look at the pink stuff floating around. That's going to be like that really harsh fog, I think. Maybe not. Although it does have one of the little flame things here for some reason. Fancy elevator. Some doors are locked, but can be opened by finding and pressing the correct button. Masterful Mace melee weapon. That's gotta be a two-hander, because it's 21 damage. The mace is unstoppable once in motion. Oh yeah, that's a two-hander. So if you like big heavy weapons, there's one for you. Oh, 
Oh man, we can glide from up here. Recipe unlocked Spectral Shield. What was that item I picked up? Spectral Metal or something? Was it just a plan I picked up? Because I don't see any special material here. I got rubble for some reason. I don't need that. Yeah, I don't have any like raw material here I picked up. above oh I gotta fly across that's what the deal is no oh there's there we go grab a line Oh crap. <laughs> I haven't really grappled this done the swing grapple much, so we gotta do that properly, I guess. That healing potion handy. <laughs> I was gonna say, do you think that's a spike floor? Shroud Survival Flask. Plus two minutes uh, maximum time in the Shroud. Contains uh, cleanse Shroud Liquid. Enhance the resistance of the user. Extends the remaining time in the Shroud after consumption by two minutes. This effect will last for 45 minutes. Drop by like and hello. <laughs> I ISB, how you doing? Oh, there's round flask. Heal channel, staff charges, magical ammunition that, upon use, releases continuous healing projectiles. Channel spell, hold uh, the input to channel over time. Equip the spell and use the mana to cast. So, I guess if uh, you're playing multiplayer, that could be handy as like having a healing class in your party. Bone meal. Curious to see what we use Boneal for. Or swap to self heal. It does say like to like it uses like um gets the target. I don't I don't have the staff because I scrapped it. So I can't test that, but I don't know. It seems like it's it like like shoots healing shots or whatever. Be a little hard to target yourself with it. Yeah. 
got over here? Oh, no ammo. <laughs> I don't have any twigs. Can't even make any more ammo. Ah, I wonder if, uh... That's probably what I need to push to open the door. Skyrim taught you anything is to waste what, uh, bone... It's a... Taste what bone meal does? Oh, there's a way up here. That door doesn't open. Some buttons may be out of reach. Shoot them with an arrow to activate them. Well, that's great. Except I don't have any arrows left. I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. Did I have any, uh... No, I don't even have the scrap arrows on me. Ah, stakes might have been made. I don't even have like a wand or anything. Nor can I make one right now. I might have to go back down just to get wood scraps so I can. Oh God! <laughs> well. Momentum's a thing. Just for the record. Oh, shoot, jeez. I might mean, have found a way around that other locked door, but... Dang it. So whatever was in that locked little room, like a chest or whatever it was, like, I'm just not going to be able to get it. Found the staff. Does it work? Uh, I got rid of the staff, unfortunately. I don't have it on me. That's the way we're supposed to go, clearly. What door that opened? Ice bolts, staff charges, great mana potion, and healing potion. Oh, I've got to open that door. I've got to get two buttons. So that was one I got there. Where's the? Where's the other one? <laughs> I'm gonna die. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. You need to sprint jump to cover more distance. Sprint, uh, take a run up before you land on the seemingly out of reach platform. No, no, it's not 1 o'clock, it's at uh, 1.50. I'm good. This door opened and we got the chest in here. 
crackling wand. With that, I might actually be able to hit that thing downstairs. <sighs> backpack. Backpack, backpack. Level 3 does 14 damage. That's pretty good. It'll be interesting to see whether the um, whether the wand will work for pushing these buttons. Yep, wand works. Hunter's bow, another one. Okay, the, the Hunter's Bows are both worse than the bow that I'm using. This one is, uh... Oh, 10 power. Oh, wait a minute. Slightly longer draw speed, but... Higher arrow speed, which I would assume would let the shot go farther, right? Finely crafted bow used by seasoned woodland hunters. All right, we'll try it. Same, same amount of power anyway. Anyway, why does that have a different? <laughs> I, I put, I put the wrong thing. There we go. Such convenient gratings. Yeah, clearly. No, I might have misspoken earlier, Mark. My uh, my wife said that I got it wrong, so I, I probably misspoke. <laughs> Just a crackling one make pork rinds. Good old crackling. Oh, oh, I did it again. Ah, oh, come on. Minor misjump. My backpack is full. Okay, um. Back. I can't salvage that thing either because I got a full backpack. That's great. That's what I get for filling up on salt on the way here. I don't need this. I can't salvage that. Maybe I can only salvage back at home or something. really need dirt on me right now. It's also something I can get an infinite supply of, pretty much. Flint arrows. Trash the 8-sack of salt. Yeah, I could probably do that, too. What do we got? Commune with flame. These ancient spires open fast travel points all over the world and reveal ancient knowledge of Embervale. Venture forth, child. The land must be reclaimed. New location charted. Nine markers added. And a potion. Hey, look at the view from up here. Oh, there's a snowy region over there. I can see two other spires if they're the same as this one. Those are metal plates. Um, one twig is not really going to do a lot for me. Delete that. Delete the eight stack of salt. I've got quite a bit of cloth already. I'll get rid of that.
There's the bridge. Our house is down there, but... Oh, you can see my house from here. Right there. You can just barely see the rooftops through the trees. That's fun. <laughs> more salt. <laughs> hey, look, we found more salt. That's like a ruined town down there. What's the journal telling me to do? I got skill points. Oh, I got five skill points. I can do my sneak attack now. Sneak attack deals massive ten times damage to unaware enemies. Yes, please. I'll take that, baby. Character's not an archaeologist. We only say that because I'm smashing all these jars. <laughs> uh, triggered sneak up on an enemy and press E. That's fancy. Dexterity. Increase your dexterity attribute by one. Increases range damage by 5% per attribute point. Increase the damage you deal from behind by 25%. I've been getting a lot of damage from behind, so that might be a good thing to take. Base duration for the rest of buffs is increased by 5 minutes. I'm going to take this backstab damage thing. I've been hitting the enemies from behind quite a bit just by circling around them, so that that would be handy. Interesting skill tree. Okay, so this opens a fast travel point, it said. I wonder... What do we got? There's the elixir well. Ancient spire, fast traveling. Small flint mine? Oh, I found that, right. I remember going over there. I don't know what that is. Rookmore. Oh, I see. The flame sanctum. We've got the uh, another elixir well. So I've taken out one elixir well. There's two more marked now. And we've got... A couple of these flame, flame sanctum towers, but I guess I have to get to them to actually unlock them for fast travel. Door. Searching for hidden tombs. I want to search for hidden tombs. It's this way, right? Looks like it's probably that ruin right there. <laughs> I'm a flying squirrel! It's kind of a fun way to get around. Hidden tomb entry. That's actually kind of a waste of an arrow, but... Uh, can I fast travel to here now that I found? I don't think I can. I can fast travel to the ancient spire, though. I gotta go back to my house. Because my inventory is too full. I have enough metal now. We can make the forge for the uh, the blacksmith, too, which should unlock some additional things we can make. OBS take a crap? Uh, no, it looks fine. Although I do see a message from YouTube saying that they're not getting enough data, but OBS looks fine. I'm not sure what the problem there is. So you went atop that ancient spire, huh? I know a few people who'd give anything for a view like that. Although now, maybe there's less bustle to observe than before. What is it this time? All the salvage items. Well, we already figured that out. Let's enhance your preferred weapon with some of the gear you've been collecting. We've got to, we've got to salvage a weapon or two first. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Adding enhancements. Hmm? Salvage some items. Now you can use some runes to enhance your weapons. Want to try it out? All okay. right. Salvage and enhance. Does he do that in here? Oh, enhance equipment. There we go. All upgradable items from your backpack and action bar are listed here. Enhancing an item unlocks new perks. Okay, and I see the uh, the number of times you can enhance it is based on the quality of the item, so you got like a number of different spots. 
So that legendary axe I found has five enhancements I can put on it. Each perk costs runes. Gather runes by salvaging weapons and other equipment. Okay, well, I gotta get my runes out of my storage chest. Oh, anything else? All right, we can salvage this. Why can't I salvage that? Looks like there's an option, but it won't let me do it. Oh, you know what? I probably have that thing. Hold on. It's gotta. It's gotta be because of this. Yep. Okay. I had that thing equipped. Uh, ice bolts. I've got some runes there. Where's the other runes I stashed away here somewhere? There are 49 of them. Okay, let's enhance the, uh, the, the legendary axe I got. It'll give me plus two cutting damage. It's me up to 16 damage, which is the same as that scrappy sword I had. It's so weird that the legendary item starts off at a worse place than that scrappy little sword I crafted. Not the thing. Anything but the thing. Let the slideshow briefly. When I was gliding, I think it did. Weird. Might have to tweet some settings when we play later. Uh, get Add plus three blunt damage. Although, wait, this is doing both cutting damage and blunt damage. It's interesting. So maybe the type of damage is better. Increase critical strike chance. I've got enough to get this up to level four. Retaliation. 20% of incoming damage is dealt back to the attacker. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Now get out. Have I got any more stuff I can scrap? I can scrap the wand. That'll give me 27. I don't need this thing, because I'm not going to use the two-handed mace. I'm going to get rid of the wand. What else have I got? Show me something else I can scrap. I need more flint arrows in here. Um, nothing else there. Can't salvage the sword I made. Scrap arrows? Nah. There we go. That's what I crafted. Salvage that thing. Another 18 years. I'm up to 55. That should be enough to get that final upgrade. There we go. And we can enhance the Hunter's Bow, too, while we're at it. Increase backstab damage by 20%. Never let the All Nice. Okay, I want to make the forge now that this guy was going to let me make. Uh, stone, metal, charcoal, and wood. I really wish I could craft from the chest. That's feels like a missed opportunity, you know. Charcoal, logs, scrap metal. Yes. It. it. No, I need stone. Thirty stone. Stone. There we go. Okay, I can finally make the forge. Rising fighter helmet, plus five and, uh, and five more of the blacksmith. Nice. There you go, buddy. I made you a forge. You're welcome. Okay, so this will craft metal sheets, I guess. 
And then he's got other stuff that he can make for me that probably uses those metal sheets. Felling axes. We can get a scrappy axe. We can get a scrappy pickaxe. Uh, he'll make me a rising fighter shield. That's pretty good. Spectral shield. This magical shield allows you to block against physical damage. Or physical attacks. Blocking drain stamina. Yeah, that's poison resistance too. That's interesting. It's like a bracelet or whatever. You like block with your arm. <laughs> Spike Club, don't need that. Although it's 17 damage, it's pretty good. Rising Fighter set for armor. So we got uh, all this stuff we gotta get. Looks like a lot of sh a lot of metal sheets we're gonna need. For armor set we already have. Sweet. Now get out. Figure out meeting. Yeah, I know, my wife's already been flashing the lights at me. I gotta go, because uh, I do have a meeting. But uh, I'll be playing some more of Enshrouded tonight. I have the stream. Uh, the stream will be set up for 9 o'clock tonight, Eastern Time. Thanks everyone for coming to hang out while we check out a new game. It's been a good time so far. Looking forward to what more we can do to explore and adventure and what have you. Uh, again, big thanks. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.